Check, check. Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Hereford Show. We're about five minutes away from uh, starting our first class of our Canadian Western Agri Mission Hereford Show. Just want to give everybody a five-minute warning, and we'll be starting with our Hereford Show for Canadian Western Agri Mission 2022.
Good morning, and welcome to Canadian Western Agribition Shorthorn Show 2022. My name is Grayson Birding, and beside me is Barbara Hoover, our clerk. Today, we will start our Shorthorn Show with our heifer calves. Well, good morning, everyone. We'd like to welcome everyone here in uh, Canadian Western Agribition to our horned and pulled Hereford shows for 2022. Great to be here sharing the ring with the Shorthorn Show today, and we're going to have a great show and looking forward to a great day here of Hereford cattle. We're going to start out with our pulled show as uh, we flip and flop between the porn and pulled and the horned cattle. We'll introduce our judges a little bit more, but judging today, we'd like to welcome and thank Hampton Cornelius, from LaSalle, Colorado, and his associate judge, Nathan Frost, are going to be evaluating our cattle today. We've got some bios on those folks that we'll read throughout the day, but we want to thank them very much for being here. As we're ready to go with our first class in our polled female show, we're going to start out with our polled female heifer calves, born April 2nd to April 13th. Go ahead, Grayson. Uh, we're going to be sharing the mic back and forth this morning between our Hereford show and the Shorthorn show. On the shorthorn side, we will start with class one, females born March 1st to July 15th, 2022. Our judge today is Jeff Anderson from Bethune, Saskatchewan. So as we're into our Bold Hereford show here, we'd like to introduce and thank our judge very much for coming today. Hampton Cornelius comes to us from LaSalle, Colorado. Hampton is a second generation cattleman and their family is a partner in Coyote Ridge Ranch, a purebred Hereford cattle operation in Colorado. As a youth, he was active in the Junior Hereford, 
4-H and FFA with livestock projects and an integral part of the family ranch. He attended Northeastern Junior College and Colorado State University and was on the livestock judging teams at both schools. He won many accolades as a livestock judge at both of these schools and was the recipient of the Tom Blackburn Award for the Outstanding Member of a Livestock Judging Team. Hampton has judged numerous national cattle shows as well uh, as some many international shows. Uh, these include the 2013 National Hereford Show at the National Western Stock Show in Denver, Colorado, the 2015 Expo Pol uh, uh, Pardo Livestock Show in uh, Uruguay, and the 2017 National Hereford Show at the Nile in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, and as well, the 2018 Hereford Show at the Royal Winter Fair in Toronto, Canada. Since joining the family Hereford Ranch in 1993, he's focused on developing Herefords suitable for the commercial bull business customers that they have in the Rocky Mountains in western Colorado. His focus on balancing highly productive, fertile cows with maintaining phenotype carcass qualities have been a hallmark of the CRR breeding program. His most gratifying work has been raising cattle that have gone on to be herd sires across North America and the Hereford breed leaders in both the United States and others used internationally, such as CRR About Time 743, CRR Violet, and CRR Capture 109. The Hamptons have shown uh, grand champion honors at all the major shows in the United States, including National Western Stock Show, the American Royal, Hereford Junior National, and many other shows across the U.S. Uh, Hampton is uh, married uh, to Kay, and have a 22-year-old son, John Hampton, um, and together uh, with his mom, Jane Evans, they are partners in the family ranch, Coyote Ridge Ranch in eastern Colorado. We'd like to thank Hampton Cornelius for being here as our official judge today in our Hereford ring. On the short horn side, we'll have some com comments from our judge, Jeff. Well, good morning, everyone. Definitely an honor to be here judging the Shorthorn Show at Agribition. Uh, really a nice way to start the, the day off with this class of four young heifer calves. I think we start off with the most complete one of the day here. Uh, just a really a nice female, uh, really nice for her line. She's really well built. Definitely not the biggest one in the class, but one that just, I think, grows on you the more you look at her. She's really well balanced. She's nice in her hip, uh, really nice ribbed, long enough fronted. And if that one's big enough for you, that's one you really, really like. The heifer we have in second place, uh, again, the same type, uh, really nice fronted, not quite as much quarter, not as long a quarter, uh, maybe not as much pop in, in, in terms of muscle and top in her, but certainly one that's got the same lines, the same look as that one uh, in front and, and one that follows that first place one very well. Therefore, we have in, in third place here, one that I really liked when she come in, this is a big powerful heifer, probably the longest bodied, most uh, high performing female in the class, one that's just a little straighter shouldered, uh, one that doesn't move out quite as nice as the top two, but one uh, you definitely appreciate for the length of body and power she has. We get into this fourth place female, again, a really long bodied, nicely made female, one that you'd like to see a little more rib and flank in her, but definitely one that's got a great look through a lot of length of body and one that's got a great future in front of her. Four really nice females, a really nice way to start off the short horn show. Thanks, Jeff. First in class was 3066 Millbrook Maria RV30K, exhibited by Millbrook Farms of Brome, Quebec, additional owner of Holland Lane Farms. Second in class was 3063 South Valley Crocus Katie May, exhibited by Diamond Shorthorns, Jamie Cowan and Sheila Young. Third in class was 3060 BBO Aim to Please 22K, exhibited by Burn Boy Shorthorns, and in fourth place was 3062 MSA Rosebud 31K, exhibited by Martin Farms of Gorbay, Ontario. Next in class, we'll have females born March 1st to July 15th, split two. Jeff Anderson was raised in Bethune, Saskatchewan, where he continues to run a grain and cattle operation. Jeff, along with his wife, Lacey, and three boys, Seeger, Swayze, and Stiles, currently manage KT Ranches in the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. KT Ranches is a purebred Angus and Semitol operation, along with a commercial herd used for embryo transfer. KT Ranches hosts two annual bull sales per year, one in February in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, and one in March in Cherryville, BC. Jeff was, has judged at many of the major shows in Western Canada, including Canadian Western Exhibition, Farm Fair International, Brandon Egg X, 
Lloydminster Stockade Roundup, Old Fall Classic, 4-H on Parade, and many other 4-H junior and jackpot shows. He is honored to add the Agribish and Shorthorn Show to the list. Welcome, Jeff. I would like to introduce and thank ringmen Hector Lamontagne and Daryl Patterson and the marshlers Russell Murray and Glenn Sunderland for being here today. Thank you. In our first class, we'll get some comments on our polled heifer calves. Well, uh, welcome. It's quite an honor for me and Nathan to be out here this morning. We had a great drive through the western part of the United States. We got to see a lot of cow country and the state of uh, where this country is and uh, where our country is in terms of drought and grass and <clears throat> the forage we still have available going into the winter. Um, it was just a great drive and it was a great way to see this country on the way up here to see how uh, the state of the cattle industry is right now. Um, when I look at cattle, I'm more of a function first type of person that really appreciates what these, these uh, I look at them as cow prospects, not show heifer prospects. I think with that in mind, you still have to have quality, you have to have balance, but you also have to have the function, the body, the structure, and the maternal efficiency to take these females forward so they can be productive productive uh, cows down the road. Um, I think we have a pretty difficult decision in this first class. We're going to start with one that we feel is a little more moderate. She's a bigger body, deeper flanked female. The super easy fleshing, I really like the balance from her side profile. You know, there's a few things we could pick on. Maybe I'd like to give her a little more flex to her rear hawk and pastern. But the female really does have a functional look to her. I like the cow look to her, and I can see her down the road as being a front, front pasture kind of female. The higher performance female in second is certainly have a, has a lot of quality, and she has a length and performance advantage for sure. When she came out here earlier, she was maybe a little nervous. She was a little upright in her pasterns and popping them a little bit. But as she's settled down, I think that's what separates her between the second and third place heifer. The dark, plate, dark heifer is certainly very smooth. She's very long. I really like her levelness and, of design. I just like to give her more uh, dimension to her rib, particularly her curvature to her rib. And she doesn't have the top and the dimension to her hip as the two females in front of her but certainly a really high quality female. And then the female here in fourth, you know, I gotta like her uh, head and neck and then the, the female look to her. I just like to give her, give more to her, give her a little more fleshing ability, and a little more substance from end to end. But a nice uh, class of females to start the show with. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for comments on that class. First place in the class and leading out, entry number 2697, uh, Blair Athol AD 173D, one, Ra Ra 155K, exhibited by Blair Athol Farms, Anita Doctor, 
and breeder Jeffrey Thomas leaves. Second place in that class goes into number 2741, Haraldson's Temptress, 100K, exhibited by Haraldson's Pold Herefords and Moorhaven Farms. In third place, the entry number 2719, CNT, uh, Jess, 70K, exhibited by CNT Cattle Company, and rounding out our class, entry number 2695, Just Acres Jane, 30K, exhibited by Just Acres Farms and Jillian Just. That's uh, our Class 1A. We'll turn it over to Jeff Anderson in our Shorthorn ring. Well, a really nice class on our Shorthorn side again. Uh, we start off with a heifer. I think they're just the most of everything with this female. She's the deepest rib. She's the longest body. Best looking, soundest female. And I think one that wins the class pretty handily for me. The heifer we have in second place, really nicely made. I really like the look of this heifer. Uh, she's really long fronted. She's really ball, ball bounds. Uh, really nice in her hip or top. She moves really well. Just one that's got a great look to her. I just wish there was more of this heifer, uh, kind of in every direction. A uh, little bit more frame, a little bit more top, a little bit more muscle for her to beat that one in second place but this one that's one's got a great look to her one's got a big time future in front of her in terms of a cow and one that's going to be a lot of fun to show over the next year that for we have in, in third place the white female one that i really really liked when she come in she's nice in her lines again one that's got a long hip in her she's big top she's got some frame to her one that just when she tracks she's a little bit inside herself on that front end but certainly one that's got a lot of go to her a lot of look to her and one that's going to be a really really good female we get down to three females on the end here uh, three really good females. This is a good class all the way through. These three are a little greener. Uh, the one we have here is probably the longest body to the three. One that you'd probably get a bit more rib, a little bit more flank in her, but certainly one that's got a good look to her again. She's got a long front in her. She's nice hip. Just one that you'd like to ease her up in that underline. We get down to these next two females, uh, probably the more fresher, greener females in the class, but one that just, with that, with, when it comes with that freshness, uh, you just like to see a bit more power and, and, and substance to these two females, but a really good class all the way from top to bottom and a really good class in our second class is division. Thanks, Jeff. First in class was 3056, 6S Cherry, 83K, exhibited by Schutz Cattle Company of Parkland County. In second was 3059, Diamond Creek Rosebud, 82K, exhibited by Diamond Creek Cattle Company. In third was 3058, 3D True Love, 15K, exhibited by Three of Diamonds Cattle Company. In fourth was 3055, LL Raggedy Ann, 5K, exhibited by Long Lake Shorthorns. In fifth was 3061 MSA Lady Esther 2K, exhibited by Martin Farms. And rounding out the class was 3057 Murraydale TE Ida 4K ET, exhibited by Murraydale Shorthorns. Coming into the ring now, we will have class two, our junior division, champion and reserve champion Heifer Calf. Our champion junior division heifer calf is sponsored by Peckover Farms of Lapman, Saskatchewan, and our reserve is Pick a Spot Shorthorns of Spruce Home, Saskatchewan. Some comments from our judge, Jeff. A really competitive division, a really nice way to start out the Shorthorn Show here, I think, with these young heifer calf divisions. Uh, two really competitive classes all the way through. I think uh, a quality right from top to bottom in both classes. Uh, four really good heifers that come back out here. I'm going to go show you my two favorite ones. And your junior division heifer calves come from your div split two, 6S Cherry 83, exhibited by Schutz Cattle Company, and Diamond Creek Rosebud 82, exhibited by Diamond Creek Cattle Company. Congratulations.
coming into the ring now, we will have class three females born January 1st to February 29th, 2022. I would like to introduce our lassie, Hannah Hubert of Lipton, Saskatchewan, who is presenting Ribbons and Banners today. Thank you for coming out. In our Hereford ring, we'll get comments on class number 1B, our polled females. As we uh, go through the day, we're going to see a lot of differences in performance and phenotype, obviously. And a lot of this is uh, attributed to the way these cattle are managed. But uh, we have to kind of consider them equal at this point and in terms of their care and how they've been uh, brought up at this point. Uh, with that in mind, we're going to use a high performance heifer in this class that I think excels the class in terms of t overall body mass, hip dimension, and uh, quality and balance from the side. I think she's the most complete female because she's the big stout one with a lot of performance, yet she's also feminine, and I like her structure advantage over the heifers in second and third. I think it's a very close decision between second and third between females that are very different in their type and kind. I choose the more maternally efficient, feminine necked and headed female that I think has more flex and uh, flex and reach to her stride as she moves around the ring. I uh, do think she has a big disadvantage in terms of pounds, performance, and uh, overall, uh, you know, weight and mass down the road, but I dislike her structure advantage. I think she's just going to have a little more longevity and is going to be a lower input female down the road, but I do appreciate the performance and length and quality of this third place female. I just like to see her move better off both ends. I think she gets a little tight a little big and round in her shoulder as she moves. Maybe as she gets older and she gets a little more femininity to her, she's going to maybe level that out. But right now, I think third's where she needs to be. And we got a really uh, unique one in fourth here. I really like the levelless design. She's probably the, the strongest top levelless design female and has the most dimension to her hip. I just think she's just a little straight off both ends, and I'd like to see more depth and sweep to her rib in relation to the heifers in front of her. I mean, uh, fifth place here, we got a female that's certainly long. I like the length of her stride. I like her foot size and dimension. I just like to see this female with a little more body and a little more fleshing ability relative to the heifers in front of us. But a very nice class of females. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for comments on class number 1B in first place of that class. Goes to entry number 2749, the entry from uh, Danny and Kelvin Fornwald, Golden Oak Livestock, AXA Farms, uh, Rowan Shire, and A&L Pulled Herefords. That's A&L, A-C-D-T, Jada, 141K. In second place goes to entry number 2715, the entry from Arthur Pulled Herefords. It's Arthur S.A. Eclipse, 90K. In third place in that class goes to entry number 2748, the entry from A&L Pulled Herefords, Danny and Kelvin Fornwald, Golden Oak Livestock, AXA Farms, and Manchester Pulled Herefords, that's A&L, ACDT, Jada ET, 159K. Fourth place in that class goes to entry number 2730, the entry from Glenlees Farms and Abbey Hill Farm. It's Glenlees DBK Gloria 132K. Rounding out that class goes to entry number 2726, the entry from Mission, Mission Ridge Herefords. It's M-R 9H Emmy 108K. That rounds out class number 1B in our Hereford ring. We're going to move in next to class number 1C, our polled females born March 1st to March 5th.
We will have some comments from our judge, Jeff, on the Shorthorn side. Again, a really ni nice class in our senior division here. A few more differences in type and kinds in this class. Uh, we start off with the most complete female. I think the showiest female, one that's highly presented, got a great look to her. Uh, not the stoutest, biggest, jammiest female, but one that's really nice from the side profile. She's really good in her lines again. One that's really unique in her front end, one that moves really well. I think just the, the most complete uh, female that's got the most future in her. After we have in the second place, this is one that really grew on me throughout the class. Uh, I, I would like to see a bit more rib, a little bit more flat. Flank and, and, and depth of body to her, but one that you really got to appreciate for the length of body she has. She's got a really big, long hip in her. She's big top. She's square made. Uh, I would like to see her stride out a tick better. And if we made, if we could deepen her out through that ribbon flank, that's one that'd be pretty competitive. But that's one that grew on me out throughout the class. We have one in third place here. I really like the build of this female. She's really nice in her lines again. This is just another female. I wish there was more of her. If she could just kind of expand her out in every way. Uh, one that's got a really nice look to her. She's well balanced. She's deep body. Just we just need a bit more of that heifer. Therefore, we have in fourth place, a really unique, uh, nice fronted female, really free moving. Uh, just one again that uh, isn't, gives up some performance and punch to those females in front of her. But one's got a really good look. We get down to two females on the end, uh, big, powerful, long bodied females. Again, ones that you'd like to see a bit more rib and some flank in them, but two that are really long bodied uh, females that got some power to them. Just like to see a bit more ease in through that middle. Really nice class of females from top to bottom. Thanks, Jeff. First in class was 3067 Millbrook Daisies Pride MX 10K ET exhibited by Millbrook Farms. Second was 3082 Prospect Hill Karma Made 2K exhibited by Prospect Hill Shorthorns, an additional owner of Braden Mills. In third was 3083 Hawken Miss Chloe 3K exhibited by Hawken Shorthorns. In fourth was 3077 Diamond Candy Cane 12K exhibited by Diamond Shorthorns, additional owner of Jamie and Praven Chowan. In fifth was 3081 Star P. Star P Mercedes 15K exhibited by Star P Farms of Humboldt, Saskatchewan. And in sixth was 3071 RK Rosie 215K exhibited by RK Cattle Co. of Moorfield, Ontario. And next in the ring, we will have females born January 1st to February 29th, 2022, split two. We would like to thank a few of our sponsors. CIBC, sponsor of the Early Morning Coffee. Coft Electric, sponsor of the Show Office Coffee. CN, Agribish and Supreme on Saturday, presented by CN. SAS Cattlemen's Association, sponsor of the Grand Champion Beef Banners. And Co-op, official fuel provider of Agribish. If any of our banner sponsors are here and would wish to present it in front of the announcer booth prior to the champion classes, you can come down and make a presentation.
And we'll get some comments on our Class 1C in our polled Hereford show. Well, as the uh, day's going along, I think it's getting uh, challenging, and I think that's a good thing. That's a tribute to the exhibitors out here, the quality of cattle they're bringing to us. They're making us look at them and make decisions, which is what we're out here for, but it's a tribute to uh, what we have to do today, and it's a tribute to the breed. I think it's a very competitive top pair of females that are a little bit different in their type and kind. And I'm going to choose the one that I think is a little more fluid in her structure, has a little more flex to her knee as she's moving from the side. And I really like the length of her stride. I like the total, the overall dimension to her uh, hip and rib versus the heifer in second. And the heifer in second, I think, is the really striking, high quality one that I really pre presents a super nice look to you from the side. And I like uh, her length of body, and I think she has an uh, advantage through her chest floor as you're looking in front of her. And I like the way her uh, forehead comes into her shoulder. So I think it's pretty close. If she had a little more dimension to the lower portions of her quarter from the side, I think she'd balance out a little better and probably would be in first place. But I think it's a very close pair of females that I think down the road are gonna really bump heads continually because they're super high quality. The heifer in um, third, I think, is just a victim of being in a really good class, because this is a super good female here. She's long, she's dark, she has a lot of femininity to her. I just think on the move in relation to the heifers in front of her, she wants to lift her top up a little bit and doesn't quite handle her hind legs and through her front end, as well as the heifers in front of her, but has a lot of good things about her and should be uh, certainly uh, complimented for that. Now the heifer in uh, fourth here, when she first came out here, you certainly got to like her, uh, her depth of rib and her levelness design. I just think when you get in front of her and watch her move, she's really entered her knees and wants to travel out in her front end pretty severely compared to the heifers in front of her. You just got to really just correct that front end, her knee structure and how she sets on the ground with the accuracy she needs compared to the heifers in front of her. But certainly a really good female in her own right. Thank you. Well, congratulations to our exhibitors in class number 1C. In first place goes to entry number 2750. The entry from A&L Pulled Herefords. It's A&L ACDC Jada ET130K. In second place in that class goes to entry number 2739. The entry from Haroldson's Pulled Herefords. It's Haroldson's Marvel ET242K. Third place in that class goes to entry number two, 2711. It's Remital W. Bella ET 135K, exhibited by Remital West and additional owner Harvey Duke. Round note that class is entry number 2699. The entry from Blair Athol Farms hits Blair Athol Miss March ET 79K. That rounds out our class number 1C. We're going to move in next in our Hereford ring to our pole champion and reserve champion junior heifer calf class. I think we've got some comments over in our shorthorn ring from Judge Jeff Anderson. Well, a really nice class on our shorthorn side again. Uh, definitely some different types and kinds uh, from top to bottom. The head for the wins this class, I think, wins it for me pretty easily. One that's got, again, one that's just got the most of everything. She's the deepest, longest, uh, most... Nice fronted, one's really sound, got a great look to her. I think one that's going to be a lot of fun to show out through the next year, and one that I think is going to have, be a really nice cow when she hits production. This one wins this class pretty easily for me. We get into this second place heifer, I think the one that follows in the nicest with the first place female, the most similar in her line. She's got the same kind of hip to her. She's not as deep, she's not as full through that rib, but one that I think uh, does have a nice look. She's got that good hip to her. We just need to make her a little deeper bodied, a little sounder than what she is to beat that first place one, but I think that's the one that follows the best of that first one. We'll get into this third place female. Here's a high performing, long bodied female. One, again, you'd like to see some more flanks, more rib to her, but that's one you gotta appreciate for the length and top that she has. This one we need to see more middle. And again, this, with the one we have next here, same deal with this one. We need a little bit more flank, a little easier through that rib, a little deeper bodied, but again, one that you gotta appreciate for the length and the look she has. We'll get into this next female, one that's a different type and kind for sure. She's more modern, she's got a great look to her. One that we just need to expand out every way. We need her bigger stouter but one that's got a cool look to her she's gonna be really easy doing kind of a female one that's gonna be a one of those, one of those cows that's gonna be chubby uh, for the rest of her life one's gonna have a great look to her one that's gonna be a really nice production cow just I really like that female we just need to see more of her and then we get to the, the bottom end female again one that's super long bodied really powerful type female one that we need to see some more rib and flank in her again but really interesting class from top to bottom in this class 
Thanks, Jeff. In split two of our senior division heifer calves, first place was 3075 Blenview Augusta Pride Kool Aid, exhibited by Blenview Farms of Bellwood, Ontario. In second was 3073 HLLC Caught You Looking 21K, exhibited by Heightland and Livestock. Co. In third was 3078 Glenford Pat 52K exhibited by Bender Shorthorns. In fourth was 3070 RK Rosie 201K exhibited by RK Cattle Co. In fifth was 3085 Hill Haven Breathless Jody 14K exhibited by Hawk and Shorthorns. And rounding out the class was 3074 Coldstream Mini 18K exhibited by Coldstream Farms. Now in the ring, we have split three of our females born January 1st to February 29th, 2022. Over at our Hereford ring, we're into our champion junior heifer class class, and uh, I'll just introduce those entries again. Out of our first split, we've got entry number 2697, the entry from Blair Athol Farms and Nina Doctor. In second place out of that split, the entry from Haroldson Pulled Herefords in Moorhaven Farms. It's Haroldson's Temptress 100K. Out of our second split, uh, first place in that class was ANL ACD Jada ET 141K, exhibited by ANL Pulled Herefords, Danny and Kelvin Fornwald, Golden Oak Livestock, AXA Farms, and Robin Shire. In second place in that class was entry number 2715, Arthur's SA Eclipse 90K, exhibited by Arthur's Pulled Herefords. Out of our third split of our class, uh, first place went to number 2750, the entry from A&L Pulled Herefords with A&L ACD Jada 115F ET 130K. And second place out of that class, entry number 2739, it's Haroldson's Marvel ET 242K, exhibited by Haroldson Pulled Herefords. These are our six animals that are competing for the Junior Heifer Calf Champion. We'd like to thank our sponsors in this class, T-Bar-C Cattle Company and KLR Herefords. BMO has been a longtime sponsor of Canadian Western Agribition and the agriculture community. As Canada's first bank, BMO's roots in the agriculture industry go back over 200 years when we first began working with farmers to provide comprehensive solutions and support their unique needs. Thank you, BMO. We're going to get some comments on our junior heifer calf division from Associate Judge Nathan Frost.
Well, we got a very nice division to start the show here. Uh, Heifer out of the first class just, I mean, screams cow power and just very youthful and big bodied and still gets around the ring very good and still got his top and dimension. Um, I think there's a bright future ahead of her. Uh, Heifer in the second, out of the second class, uh, we just love the way that uh, her rib comes down. She's got some rib from behind, still gets out and moves very good, had some power up over her top, and still uh, just ties it together in such a balanced package. Heifer out of the third class, uh, I mean, this one, we dig her. She's uh, big bodied, sound, still attractive from the side and came out of a very good class where she beat a quality heifer. Um, so uh, I think we got some decisions to make and uh, we'll get you a champion. As our judges go out to select our champions, we want to thank our sponsors in this division, T-Bar C Cattle Company and KLR Herefords, our junior heifer calf sponsors. And our champion junior heifer calf is going to come out of the third split. Congratulations to ANL Pulled Herefords with ANL ACD Jada 130K is going to be our champion junior Hereford heifer calf. And our reserve champion is going to come out of our second split. Okay, so in our uh, champion in our junior division is entry number 2749 from A&L Pulled Herefords, Danny and Kelvin Fornwald, Golden Oak Livestock, and AXA Farms, and Robin Shire with entry number 2749, A&L ACD Jada 115F 141K. And our reserve champion in our division goes out of the third split, entry number 2750 from A&L Pulled Herefords, it's A&L ACDC Jada 130K. Congratulations to our junior heifer calves, and I think we've got some comments in our shorthorn ring. Well, really nice class here. I think probably our most competitive class of the day so far. Two really, really good heifers uh, to start this class off with. I think if you could put these two heifers together, uh, you'd be really lethal. I really like the front one uh, in terms of muscle, top, power, uh, length of body. She's still really nice through that front end. She's got a bit more shoulder, uh, but with that comes but more power, more top, more muscle. Uh, one that's got a lot of go to her, but still a really good looking, highly presented package. The female we have in second place, I really like the lines of this female. She's really deep body, deep rib. She's flatter shoulder than the female in front of her. I really liked how she moves. Uh, just, I think there's a bit more power, muscle, and performance in the female in the first place, but two that I really, really like, and I could argue those ones either way. The heifer we get into third place uh, gets into a really tough split here. Uh, one that's got a good look to her. She's really fresh in her presentation. Uh, one that's uh, got a really long bodied square hip to her. Uh, again, uh, in terms of how fresh she is with that comes uh, not as deep a body, not as deep flank, but one that's got a really long bodied good look to her. We get into this next female same deal on this one a really fresh look she's really clean through that chest for really nice shoulder just need one that's a little bigger rib deeper flank deeper bodied female but again one you really like in terms of balance uh, hip and power we get into these two females on the bottom end uh, again long bodied good looking uh, fresh females uh, really nice their presentation really nice their look ones uh, again you just want to see them easier doing a little more rib a little more flank for them to get up any higher but a really good highly competitive class really nice class in that one 
thanks Jeff in split three. First was 3068, Head for the Hills Elsa 5K, exhibited by Head for the Hills Shorthorn. In second was 3072, Little Rebel Nene 2K, exhibited by Little Rebel Cattle Company and Peckover Farms. In third was 3080, Glenford Maxine 10K, exhibited by Bender Shorthorns. In fourth was 3084, Hawk and Kenna Star 2K, exhibited by Hawk and Shorthorns. In fifth was 3076, Diamond Creek Sweet Beauty 72K, exhibited by Diamond Creek Cattle Company. And in sixth was 3069, RK Rosie 101K, exhibited by RK Cattle Company. Now in the ring, we'll have class four, our senior division champion and reserve champion, Heifer Calf. The champion senior division, Heifer Calf, is sponsored by Peckover Farms of Lapman, Saskatchewan. And our reserve is sponsored by Star P Farms of Humboldt, Saskatchewan. If any of you are in the crowd and would like to come down and present the banners, come on out. Coming back into the ring, we have from split one, 3067, Millbrook Daisy's Pride, MX 10K ET. 3082, Prospect Hill, Karma Made 2K, exhibited by Prospect Hill Shorthorns. From split two, we have 3075, Blendview, Augusta, Pride, Kool-Aid, and 3073, HLLC, Caught You Look in 21K. And from our third split, 3068, Head for the Hills, Elsa, 5K, and 3072, Little Rebel, Nene, 2K, exhibited by Little Rebel Cattle Company. And we're going to move over into our Hereford ring with comments on our 3A horned females and our 2022 Hereford Cavs, class number 3A. Comments from our judge. I think this class uh, is definitely a pick your poison kind of class in that I think you really got to decide what you're looking for in your, uh, in your operation. Um, I think there's enough performance difference and pounds difference and mass difference to use the bigger heifer. And she's also, she moves freely, she's sound, and she will have enough longevity. You know, sure, I'd like to give her a little more dimension to her heart and maybe just beef her up a little bit, stouten her up down the road, but she's still got a lot of good qualities, her length of neck and her stride, and she's certainly very feminine. The heifer in second, I think, is cer certainly a super sound one. I really like her length of body and how she moves around the ring and her feminine aspects to her head and neck. I just like this female just needs more performance in relation to your class winner. Thank you. Well, thank you very much on comments on that class. And in first place in that uh, Horned Hereford uh, female class goes down here number 2753. The entry from J.K. Frazier Cattle Company with J.K. JKF uh, Symphony Bell 74K. In second place in that class goes to Prairie Lane Acres with entry number 27, 2659 PLA Boom Boom 702K. We're going to move next into our Horned Hereford females, class number 3B. These are our heifer calves born February 4th to February 21st. They go over in our shorthorn ring. We've got comments from Judge Jeff Anderson. Well, a really nice division in our senior division in the shorthorn heifer calves here. I think just exactly what you expect. From our first class this morning, uh, we just get bigger, more powerful all the way down here. Uh, same way in our three classes here, but three really highly competitive classes. There's two out here that uh, win this division pretty easy for me. I'm going to go ahead and slap the two that came out of that last class. They're champion reserve in the senior division. Your senior champion, Heifer Calf, is 3068, Head for the Hills, Elsa 5K, exhibited by Head for the Hills Shorthorns. And from the same class, 3072, Little Rebel Nene 2K, exhibited by Little Rebel Cattle Company, and additional owner of Peckover Farms. Congratulations. One of the major parts of Canadian Western Agribition is our sponsors, and we want to recognize SGI. And a reminder from our friends at SGI, go out to you, have a good time.
but make sure the good times happen again by finding a safe ride home. Thank you very much to our sponsors, SGI. Coming into the ring now, we have Class 5 females born March 1st to December 31st, 2021. This year's Saskatchewan Shorthorn Commercial Breeder of the Year will be presented to the Albert Fendelet and family of Halford, Saskatchewan. The Fendelets will receive their gate signage following the crowning of the female grand champion. They received a jacket award at last night's banquet. Congratulations to the Fendelet family. The Canadian Agri-Food Automation and Intelligence Network is pleased to be co-sponsoring the 2022 Agribition Nightly Tie-Out. Their booth is located at 129. Come see us to learn how we're funding livestock innovation in Canada. Thank you to the Canadian Agri-Food Automation and Intelligence Network. World-class trucks for the world-class cattle, Platinum sponsors GMC and Chevrolet encourage you to check out powerful trucks like the GMC Sierra and Chevrolet Silverado. We'll get some comments on class number 3B in our horned female show. I think this is a really nice class of horned Hereford females. And uh, <clears throat> I think it's pretty close in the top two or three heifers, particularly the top two. And uh, the longer these are out there, we chose to use a female that I think balances better and has just a lot more elegance and class and femininity and this cow look to her from the side. I really like her balance and I think she particularly beats the second place heifer in the length of her hip and the dimension to her lower quarter from the side. 
You know, would I change things about her? Sure, I'd like to give her more feminine, I'd like to give her more pigment in her eye set and change her eye set. I really like the hooded eye set of the second place female. She just a little more, has a little more breed character that way and I certainly respect that. I like the female in second and when you first brought her out here, you certainly gotta like the look to her. I would just like to give her a little more arch and curvature to her rib and a little more dimension to her stifle from the side to balance more like the heifer in first, but two very high quality females that I think are gonna make outstanding cows. Now down the road, I think we got really function oriented and used a female that I thought was certainly long in her stride and she moved around the ring and she quality wise, she kind of matched up with the heifers in first and second. I just like to give her more dimension to her hip particularly from hooks to pins in her lower quarter compared to the top females, but certainly still has the quality look to her, and I like um, her overall balance. And then we have a kind of a deep-bodied, easy-fleshing one that's maybe a little stouter through her front end than the heifers in front of her and behind her, but I like the, the uh, function in this female, and I think she's got a lot of doing ability, and I think she's going to be able to sustain down the road with a lot of cow, cow longevity. Then we got two big females here, the, the big horned one here. I like the length of body and her length of stride. I just like to balance this female out, lengthen her front end up, and just give her more look in relation to the heifers in front of her. And then we got a real pretty one here. If you like necks and you like front ends, you're going to like this female. This female just needs more dimension to her, more overall performance and doing ability to compete in this, this particular class. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your comments. In first place in our split number 3B goes to entrant number 2649, the entry from Copper Creek Ranch with CCR Libby 36K. In second place in this split goes to entrant number 2661, the entry from Hershey Herefords and Blake Thomas with GH Kenzie 71K. Third place in that class goes to DGB Farms with GH Lady Luna 72K. Fourth place in that class goes to number 2652, the entry from Mission Ridge Herefords with M-R M-E-E-T 53K. Fifth place in that class goes to Dallas Farms with BCD KC 272K. And running out our class, under number 2655, the entry from JK Frazier Cattle with JKF Bass 13K. That rounds up class number 3B. We're going to move into class number 3C in our horned females, born January 14th to February 2nd. I think over in our short horn ring, we've got comments on our bread heifer class. Well, really nice way to start off the bread heifer division here. Two heifers I really, really like. I could argue these ones either way, and I think you could switch them and flip off them either way, and I, I wouldn't argue with you either way. I could, I could make a point for both these heifers. I think when it comes down to the one that we let off the class with, there's just more of everything with this female. I think when you look at her from behind, there's more top, there's more shape in her hip. She's a bit longer bodied. She's longer fronted, but really just a, a really free moving, good looking female. One that's really tough to, to poke a hole in. We get into our second place female. Like I said, just maybe not quite the length of body, not quite the shape in the top and the hip, but man, this one is really, really good in terms of her presentation. I love this one from the side profile. One that's going to be a beautiful cow, just a beautifully uh, May heifer, really well presented, one that I really like. We get into our third place heifer. This is the, really the powerhouse female of the class. Uh, one that's got a lot of length, a lot of muscle, a lot of hip in her. One that's got more condition on her, and with that comes just a bit of mobility issues when her front end, she's not quite as free and, and, and free moving through that front end, but one that you really have to appreciate for the overall muscle length and power in her, one that's got a lot of go to her, and one that's going to raise some bulls when she hits production. We get into our next female. Uh, again, we're, these are young females, ones that, uh, one that, one's really fresh here, one that's got a nice lines to her, one that just gets into a tough class, one that does, gives up some muscle, some mass, some power, the ones above her, but one, again, that's going to be really nice when she hits production. We get to our next female here, again, one that's just a, a little bit more moderate, uh, not quite as unique in terms of her look and balance, but one that's going to be a really nice cow when she hits production as well. We get down to our end one, again, one that's got a long body, she's got a lot of top to her, just one that we'd like to see a bit more ribbon flank and ease up that underline, but one that's going to be a good high quality cow as well. Really good class in our first class, yearling heifers here right from top to bottom. Bottom. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. In split one of our yearling heifers, first 3092, 
BBO Countess 11J, exhibited by Burn Boy Shorthorns. In second, 3086, Millbrook Juanita FB 26J, exhibited by Millbrook Farms. In third, 3094, Star P Bell 50J, exhibited by Star P Farms of Humboldt, Saskatchewan. In fourth, 3095, Bell M Betsy 181J, exhibited by Bell M Farms of Inglefield, Saskatchewan. In fifth, 3090, Murraydale Songstress 67J, exhibited by Murraydale Shorthorns of Swift Current. And rounding out the class is 3089, Murraydale Genie 51J, exhibited by Murraydale Shorthorns of Swift Current, Saskatchewan. Next in the ring, we'll have split two of our females born March 1st to December 31st, 2021. We'll get some comments on class number three, seeing our horn female and our heifer calves from our judge. I think uh, in this class, <clears throat> we had one heifer that really sorted to the top in our eyes. She's just a super complete, sound made female that's attractive. She's cowy, she has enough to her, and she just has a great overall look and quality to her. I think she wins the class pretty easily. Then I think you gotta start putting your thinking caps on after that. In second, we're gonna use a bigger body, deep ribbed heifer, and she certainly has that, uh, certainly has that uh, fleshing ability and rib advantage over your class winner. I just like to give this heifer a little more flex off both ends and lengthen her out, maybe make her a little more feminine, trim her up and give her a little more uh, freshness to her in relation to your first place heifer. But certainly a nice female that's deep, square, and has a lot of dimension to her and just fits really nicely in that second place hole. We have two big, broody, high-performance heifers that I'm not going to take a lot away from in third and fourth. These females have a lot of, have a lot of uh, ability to change things in people's herds in terms of their performance, their fleshing ability, and their longevity, and how they can handle the environment. And um, yes, you know, maybe you'd like to change the, the overall look and femininity of them compared to the top two heifers that are a little more sharper in their design, but I respect the fleshing ability and the pounds and the performance of these two females. And then we get a heifer down the end. <clears throat> I certainly like her uh, length. I just like to maybe give her a little more dimension and certainly in her flank and as, as you get back further in her rib cage and her stifle compared to the heifers in front of her. But it's certainly a nice, very useful set of females that's got a lot of uh, good in them. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for comments on class number 3C. In first place in that class goes to number 2648, the entry from Torchview Cattle Company with Torchview New Era Lady 13K. In second place in that class goes to entry number 2650, CCR Lady Luck 115K, exhibited by Copper Creek Ranch from Princeton, B.C. Third place in that class goes to number 2660, the entry from Hershey Herefords with GH Elite, Elite Kate ET9K. Fourth place in that class goes to entry number 2658, MW Miss Advance 205 from Wyatt Farms. And rounding out our class, the entry from Hershey Herefords with entry number 2662, GH Dominant Sandy ET5K. We're going to move next in our Hereford ring to our class number four. This will be our horned champion and reserve champion heifer calf class sponsored by Alameda Agencies and Lamentane Holdings. But I think before, as those cattle are coming in, we have comments on our shorthorn side. Well, good class on our shorthorn uh, yearling heifer side. I think definitely some more different... Uh, Variances and types and kinds from top to bottom. I think the heifer that wins the class wins it pretty easily for me. This is the most complete female. I think the one that's got the most look to her. She's the deepest bodied, stoutest made female, the soundest female. This one's got a big, bright future and one that uh, I think comes to the top of the class pretty handily. The heifer we have in second place, I think, follows the best of the four here. One that's a little more compact in her front end. She's got a little more uh, shoulder to her, a little shorter front and neck, but uh, one that I think has got, uh, she's easy doing. She's deep bodied, one that's going to be really efficient, nice cow when she hits production. 
position. Just one that we'd like to kind of extend uh, that front end and smooth out that shoulder for her to get past that front one. We get into the next two females, uh, two different kinds again. Uh, we start off with the, the third place female, I think. Uh, one that looks like she's bred way along, maybe isn't going to be quite as nice at her as the ones in front of her, but one you got to appreciate for how well, uh, how far along she is bred. One's got a really nice front end to her, really unique look to her. But one's going to be really nice. Cal, we get into our fourth place female. One that's really moderate. She's deep bodied. She's stout made. Uh, just one that kind of tracks inside of herself on that front end. You maybe like to clean up those front feet a little bit. But certainly one's going to be an efficient, uh, easy doing kind of cow when she gets production. Really interesting class in that one. Thanks, Jeff. In split two of our yearling bread heifers, we have... In first place, 3087, 6S Sparkle Delight, 62J, exhibited by Shutts Cattle Company and Diamond Creek Calico. In second, 3093, Diamond Creek Katrina, 1J, exhibited by Three Star Shorthorns. In third, 3091, Diamond Creek Admiration, 52J, exhibited by Diamond Creek Cattle Company. And rounding out the class, we had 3088, Murraydale Goose, 7J, ET, exhibited by Murraydale Shorthorns. Coming back into the ring now will be our junior division champion, Yearling Heifer. From split one, we have 3092 BBO Countess 11J, exhibited by Byrne Brothers Shorthorns of Catham, Ontario. And in second was 3086 Millbrook Juanita FB 26J, exhibited by Millbrook Farms of Brome, Quebec. From our second split, we have 3087 6S, 6S Sparkle Delight 62J, exhibited by Shutts Cattle Company and Diamond Cattle Creek Cattle Co. And 3093 Diamond Creek Katrina 1J, exhibited by three star shorthorns of Wayburn, Saskatchewan. We'll get some comments over in our Hereford ring as we're in our Grand and Reserve Grand Champion Heifer Calf class in our horn division. From our judge. Uh, yeah, we think this is a very nice way to start this uh, horned Hereford show off. Uh, the heifer and comes out of the first class she's got that extra bone foot a little extra dimension when you get that three-quarter view uh, still a little green yet but there's a world of future in her heifer comes out of second class really bounces from the side gets out and moves got that extra deepness in her lower one-third um, <laughs> still got some bone foot and just really grows on you the longer she's out here heifer out of third class she just got that striking look no matter where she's at. She just got level down her top, got a little bit of curvature to her rib, but balances up so good and still has some mass and power down her top when you get behind her. Uh, we'll go get you a champion. Well, thank you very much. We want to thank our sponsors in this division again, Alameda Agencies and Lamentane Holdings. So our champion's gonna come out of our third split. Congratulations to Torchview Cattle Company. He's gonna be our heifer calf champion. And our reserve champion is gonna come out of split number two, our reserve champion from Copper Creek Ranch. Congratulations to both of our heifer calf champions in our horn division. For our champion, 2648, Torchview New Era Lady, 113K from Torchview Cattle Company. And our reserve champion, Horned Female, in the Heifer Calf Division, goes to entry number 2649, Copper Creek Ranch with CCR Libby, 36K. As we move on into our polled females born in 2022, but I think before we get on to that, we've got some comments in our division in the Shorthorn Ring. Well, a really nice division in our first division of the yearling females here. I think uh, four females, you know, they're getting close to production time now, and I think four females are going to be really good cows when they hit that. I think four females have fit all together really nicely. Uh, there's one out here I think uh, has got a bit more of everything for me, more top, more substance, more power. That's what I'm going to go use uh, for a champion. It's going to be the one from that second class. So our junior champion female is 3087, 6S Sparkle Delight, 62J, exhibited by Shutts Cattle Company and Diamond Creek Cattle Co. And our reserve is 3092, BBO, Countess 11J, exhibited by Byrne Brothers Shorthorns. Champion Junior Female was sponsored by Rockdale Shorthorns of Lone Rock, Saskatchewan, and reserve was sponsored by Claith Main Shorthorns of Borden, Saskatchewan. Thank you.
One of our major aggravation sponsors is FCC. Our thanks go out to our platinum sponsor, FCC. The only lender 100% invested in Canadian agriculture, FCC helps you make the most of opportunities with financing and knowledge designed for the Canadian egg industry. Thank you very much to our platinum sponsor, FCC. One of our other major sponsors of Canadian Western Agribition is Inland Concrete. Lee Hansen Materials is a proud sponsor of the Canadian Western Agribition, providing Regina and area with concrete and aggregates in business for over 66 years. Thank you very much to Inland Concretes, one of our platinum sponsors here at Canadian Western Agribition. In the ring on the Shorthorn side, we have our Females born January 1st to February 28th, 2021. And the winners of this class will also be your senior division yearling heifers, sponsored by Garland Shorthorns and Yellow Rose Shorthorns. Back in our Hereford ring, we're going to move into class number 5A. This is our polled females, born February 20th to February 25th. So coming into our ring, we've got seven entries into this class of polled heifer calves. For those of us, uh, those of you joining us here in our Hereford ring, we want to introduce again our judge today is Hampton Cornelius from LaSalle, Colorado, and his associate judge, Nathan Frost, coming to us from Illinois. We want to thank both of these gentlemen here uh, for being our sponsors, uh, our, our judges today. Hampton Cornelius comes to us from LaSalle, Colorado, as part of the Coyote Ridge Ranch, a second-generation family and a proud partner in that Coyote Ranch, a purebred Hereford cattle operation in Colorado. Hampton uh, was active uh, through college, 4-H and FFA, as a top livestock judge and the recipient of the Tom Blackburn Award for the Outstanding Member of a Livestock Judging Team. Hampton has judged numerous national cattle shows as well as international cattle shows around the world. And I want to thank Hampton for being here as our official judge for the Hereford Show at Canadian Western Agribition. We would like to thank Master Feeds, one of Agribition's sponsors. Master Feeds supplies the nutrition that produces the showstoppers at beef shows across Canada and is a proud sponsor of Agribition. Master Feeds would like to congratulate all competitors this week for your dedication and commitment to showing excellence. Thank you, Master Feeds.
Well, I think our most high quality class from top to bottom in our shorthorn side here, five really, really good females. Five females, I think, all got big uh, potential in terms of production. This, the one we started off with, this is just my kind. This is the one I really, really like. She's got everything going for her. She's deep bodied. She's nice to her front end. She moves well. She's got enough substance. She's got enough rib to her. She's good looking. One that I think wins this class really easily and one that I really, really like. Heifer we have in second place, I think follows in the nicest with that female that we won the class with. Again, one that's really nice in her lines. She's really deep rib. She doesn't quite have the length of body or the front end that the one in front of her has. Uh, just one that's going to be a really nice cow its production. Just not quite as unique as that one that we won the class with, but one that's really, really good. I think the one we have in third place is a, a more moderate type female, maybe the most moderate one we have in the class. But I think one in terms of uh, following the top two females, I think one that's got the same kind of look to her. She's got the same balance, the same rib to her. I think one that's going to be a really nice cow its production. And I think one that just follows in really good with those top Top two. We get into our next two females, the, the big high performing female next, uh, probably the longest bodied female in the class, big hip, big top, uh, just not as quite as nice in through that flank and rib, but one you got to really appreciate for the power and look and the and the like the body that she has. We get to that bottom female, one that's really good still, one that's going to be a really nice production cow, doesn't quite have the rib and flank the ones above her have, but one that's still going to be a really, really good cow. I think one, a really good class right from top to bottom, uh, five females that can be really nice females in their production, and one really good one on the top. Thank you, Jeff. First in class, 3096, Millbrook Maria FB 6JET, exhibited by Millbrook Farms of Brome, Quebec. Additional owner, Longview Cattle Company. In second, 3098, Blenview Glamorous Jazzy 104J, exhibited by Blenview Farms of Blellwood, Ontario. In third, 3099, DASF Billie Jean 1J, exhibited by Double Arrow Stock Farm. In fourth, 3101, RK Rosie 101J, exhibited by Foxtail Livestock. And rounding out the class, 3097, Hillhaven SL Lilies Miracle 3J, exhibited by Hawk and Shorthorns of Glenavon, Saskatchewan. Again, the top two in this class are your senior division champion and reserve champion, Yearling Heifer. On the shorthorn side, we have class nine females born in 2020 with their 2022 tattooed calf at side. Comments from our judge, Jeff. Well, a really nice pair here, uh, just a single entry in our two-year-old, but one that's really good. Here's a really good January heifer calf in front of her. I uh, got the same build as the mom, a big, powerful, uh, deep body, big top female, and a cow behind her that does done a really nice job. I mean, this is a January calf for December now. Uh, I think that udder would have been really nice when it was milking. It would have been good to see it today, but I mean, it's asking a lot for an 11-month-old calf to keep going. Uh, just a really nice pair. Look forward to seeing them back here later. 
3103 Millbrook Red Rose FB 10H with calf at side head for the hills Red Rose 1K exhibited by head for the hills Shorthorn and additional owner head for the hills and Hatfield Shorthorns are your class winner. Next in the ring, we will have class 10 females born in 2019 or earlier with their 2022 tattooed calf at side. We would like to thank Merck for being an AgriVision sponsor. Merck Animal Health offers one of the broadest, most innovative animal health portfolios, spanning products to support performance and prevent treat and control disease in all major farm and companion animal species. Merck Animal Health is proud to welcome Allflex Livestock Intelligence to our portfolio. Allflex is the global leader in the design, development, and delivery of animal identification and monitoring devices. Uh, there's a nice class that I think really came together in our minds. We're going to... A nice class that really came together in our minds. We're going to start with a female that I think really excels the class in terms of overall quality, balance, dimension, and structure. You know, maybe we could change the way she moves a little bit on her rear passers, but once she relaxes, her top really comes down, and we really like her overall presence. We've got a heifer in second that kind of follows her type and kind quite a bit until you get to her hip and top on the move, where this, hip, this heifer in her hip, she kind of drops her pins and uh, wants to raise her tail head up and wants to lift her top. This isn't as relaxed on the move as the heifer in, in first, and I certainly like the foot shape and size of the heifer in first over the second place heifer. We really respect the heifer in third for her freshness, her uh, youthfulness, and her femininity, and um, just her overall condition. I think this heifer's got a bright future because she's not overly fed right now. I just like her femininity and her balance and just her longevity look to her. I think there's a female that really should be appreciated in that respect. Uh, the heifer in fourth is cer certainly really long. She's easy doing and really uh, relaxed in her top. I just like to see this heifer maybe get a little more feminine through her front end and um, just travel a little better, particularly on her rear legs as she's walking away from me compared to the top three heifers. We get some heifers that I feel are a little more difficult in my mind to analyze. We're gonna use a heifer in fourth that's uh, certainly long. She's got a lot of length, this length of body. I like her length of hip and her overall performance. I just like to give this heifer more body in relation to her frame size compared to the heifers in front of her, and that's why she's in fourth. We have two little females that I consider to be a little harder keeping in, uh, in uh, last and second to last. We're gonna use the female that I felt is deeper bodied, a little easier fleshing and more feminine in her overall design from the side profile to, uh, to end this class. The heifer on the end, I mean, when she comes out here, you gotta like her, her top and her hip and her bone mass. I just think this female just needs to have more, more uh, 
fleshing ability through her front end, for lack of a better term, more chest and more heart girth in relation to her body frame. She's just a little too cute for me today for uh, longevity purposes. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Hampton. In this class number 5A, first place goes to entry number 2738. The entry from Haraldson pulled Herefords and River Valley pulled Herefords with Haraldson's Marvel ET39K. In second place goes to entry number 2724. The entry from HMS Highcliff is HMS Highcliff Corby 23K. Third place goes to entry number 2733, uh, XLP, Sarah, 822K, exhibited by Lone Pine Cattle Services. Fourth place goes to entry number 2716 with CCR Donna, 49K, exhibited by Copper Creek Ranch. Fifth place in that class goes to entry number 2723, HMS, HCF Killer Queen, ET, 46K, exhibited by HMS Highcliff. Uh, again, sixth place, entry number 2634, XLP 5F Jazzy ET 61K, exhibited by Lone Pine Cattle Services. And right to note that class, entry number 2735, with Roach Polly 298K, or with Roach Springs Show Cattle. That was class number 5A. We're going to move in next in our Hereford ring to class number 5B, our polled females born January 7th to February 14th. On the shorthorn side, we'll have some comments from our judge on this cow calf class. Well, a really interesting class on our shorthorn side. I think we have a three, a four, six year old out here, and then a May, a, a January, and a March calf. So, definitely some variances in age and types and kinds. Uh, we start off with a three year old with just the May bull calf. I think just the most complete pair. A female, I really like the T placement. I really like the build of the female. She's square made, deep bodied, good looking, and a really nice May bull calf in front of her. I think one that's got a big, bright future and one that's going to get better and better every day. I think just really a complete pair there. We get into our second place uh, female, one that I really like. Like the bull calf in front of her. That's a big, powerful, deep bodied, uh, stout made, big top kind of a bull. Uh, the cow for me, I'd like to see her a little bit deeper rib, deeper flank, but definitely one you really appreciate for the bull calf that she's raised in front of her. That's a really good bull and a really nice cow behind that bull. Uh, one that's going to be pretty easy to sell come springtime. We get to our third place female again, one that I really like the calf in front of her. A really good female. Uh, just one, uh, I think a cow that's uh, outproduced herself in terms of the calf, and that's all. That's what we ask for on every one of them. If we can make them better the next generation, I think that we've really done our job. That's one of the calf I really like. For me, the cow, I'd just like to see her a little stouter made, a little bigger hip, a little deeper body, but one that's done a really exceptional job on that calf. A really good class right from top to bottom on these pairs. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. First in class, 3105, Matlock DR, P. Millie, 84G, with calf outside, Foxtail Magnum's Legacy 84K, exhibited by Foxtail Livestock of Elro, Saskatchewan. Second in class was 3515 DRS Picture Perfect 32D with calf outside Cactus Flat Kingpin 1K exhibited by Cactus Flat Shorthorns. And third in class was 3104 Shady Brook Parfait 24F ET with calf outside RK Rosie 130K exhibited by RK Cattle Co. Next in the ring, we will have our champion and reserve champion female. The banners are sponsored by Garland Shorthorns of North Battleford, Saskatchewan, and Long Lake Shorthorns of Simpson, Saskatchewan. If any of you are around to present banners, please come on down. So coming back into the ring, we'll have our two-year-old pair, Millbrook Red Rose FB 10H with calf outside Head for the Hills Red Rose 1K, exhibited by Head, Hill, Head for the Hills Shorthorns and Head for the Hills and Hatfield Shorthorns. From your 2019 or earlier cows, we'll have Matlock DRP Millie 84G with calf outside Foxtail Magnum's Legacy 84K, exhibited by Foxtail Livestock. And DRS Picture Perfect 32D with calf outside Cactus Flat Kingpin 1K, exhibited by Cactus Flat Shorthorns.
Some comments from our judge, Jeff, on our senior champion, female. Well, we weren't big in quantity in our senior females here in terms of numbers, but I think a lot of quality all the way through our first class and second class. Uh, we only had the single entry in our two-year-old division, but one that's really, really nice in terms of the calf and the cow. And all three of these pairs have really good calves in front of them. You know, it's always nice to see these pairs back with, uh, with a really good calf in front of them. And I think all three of these females have uh, done an outstanding job in terms of, in terms of calves uh, and maintained their body and look to them. I think just a really uh, nice trio of females. I'm going to go show you my two favorite ones. Your champion senior female is your 2019 or earlier cow, Matlock DR, P. Millie, 84G with calf at side, Foxtail Magnum's Legacy 84K, exhibited by Foxtail Livestock, and your reserve is 3103 Millbook Red Rose FB 10H with calf at side, Head for the Hills Red Rose 1K, exhibited by Head for the Hills Shorthorns of Redford, Saskatchewan. On the Shorthorn side, we have our grand champion female class. Coming into the ring from your junior heifer calf champion was 3056 6S Cherry 83K, exhibited by Shutt's Cattle Company of Parkland County, Alberta, and 3059 Diamond Creek Rosebud 82K, uh, exhibited by Diamond Creek Cattle Company of Weyburn, Saskatchewan. From your senior heifer calf champion, 3068 Head for the Hills Elsa 5K, Head for the Hills Shorthorns of Redford, Saskatchewan. Along with 3072, Little Rebel Nene 2K, exhibited by Little Rebel Cattle Company and Peckover Farms. From your junior champion female, 3087 6S Sparkle Delight 62J, exhibited by Schutz Cattle Company of Parkland, Alberta and Diamond Creek Cattle Company. Along with 3092, BBO Countess 11J, exhibited by Byrne Brothers Shorthorns of Chatham, Ontario. Your senior champion, Yearlings, 3096, Millbrook Maria, 6J, ET, Millbrook Farms of Brome, Quebec, with Longview Cattle Company. And 3098, Blenview Glamorous Jazzy, 104J, exhibited by Blenview Farms of Bellwood. Your champion senior females, 3105, Matlock, DRP, Millie, 84G, with calf outside, Foxtail Magnum's Legacy, 84K, exhibited by Foxtail Livestock of Elro, Saskatchewan along with 3103 Millbrook Red Rose FB 10H with calf outside Head for the Hills Red Rose 1K exhibited by Head for the Hills Shorthorns, additional owner of Hatfield Shorthorns. We're going to get some quick comments in our Hereford ring on class number 5B. Now there's a challenging class. I mean, when you're sorting through your own cattle at home, you always have females you like and the ones you don't like as much. You kind of sort through them as the winter goes on and see how they fit in your operation. And I feel this class has a lot of those aspects to it. I think the more you look at this class, I really like the freshness, femininity, and overall quality of the, the heifer that wins this class. She really excels the class in terms of structure, how she moves around. And she's in the, the right freshness and femininity condition-wise that we can really deal with today. I just think it's a nice quality female that... Uh, 
handles this class pretty well. I think the real decisions lie neck down the road here. We got a female in second. I mean, you really got to like her sharpness of design. She's super exotic fronted. She's big topped and big ribbed, and she has those advantages over your first place heifer. What I don't like about her is I think she's a little small in her kind, and I'd like to see her travel a little better on her rear legs, particularly her hawk and pastern, in relation to the length of stride that the first place heifer has. Just the heifer just needs to be a little <clears throat> sounder moving and maybe just a little more overall performance. The heifer in um, third is just a really nice, complete female. I really like her uh, front end and that she's really long and extended through her front end, yet still has some throat and some doing ability to her. I think she's got a nice look to her, a nice cow look to her. I just like to give her a little more depth of rib. And as you get behind her, I don't know if she has quite the dimension as the two heifers in front of her. We have three more challenging heifers coming down the road here. We got a bigger heifer here. You certainly got to like her levelness of design and her hip. I just think this heifer gets pretty narrow at her hocks behind when she travels, and I'd like to maybe freshen up her front end. The heifer uh, coming next is certainly the big boned, heavy, heavy footed heifer. You really like her length of stride, and I think that is her advantage over the heifer that's behind her, and that she really travels better on her rear legs in terms of length of stride and uh, dimension to her hawk and pastern. But two females that have some difficulties to them down the road. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. In first place in that class, under number 2710, comes to us from Kaylee Cattle Company and Aqua Herefords. In second place in that class, under number 2706 from RSK Farms. Third place in that class, 2709 from Brooks Farms. Fourth place, 2747 with A&L Herefords. Fifth place to entry number 2698 from Blair Athol Farms and Skyview Tree Ranch. And sixth place, entry number 2725 from Mission Ridge Herefords. We're going to go over into our Hereford ring here. Or pardon me, our Shorthorn ring for some comments. Uh, but before Jeff does that, I think we've got to find some stuff. So before we get, go into our grand champion, I just is there an MNP representative in the building? If you are, please come on down. As well, we have Jessica Hextall here presenting the Herdsman Award. The Herdsman Award recognizes exhibitors that take the extra time and effort to showcase their cattle. And our winner this year is Bender Shorthorns. Please come on down to the front of the ring. Congratulations. We will now have some comments from our judge on our grand champion class. Well, thank you. I think a really nice set of females on our shorthorn side here. I think just everything you'd ever expect from a shorthorn show at Agribition. And we started off with some really cool looking heifer calves uh, in our two heifer calf divisions. Uh, a lot of heifer calves uh, come through the ring today, ones that are going to be a lot of fun to show throughout the next year. And we get into our junior females. I think just the one one step again in terms of uh, uh, maturity, uh, some good, really look, good looking females, ones that are that one step closer to production. I think females uh, have awesome looks to them. Uh, Big, powerful females and we get into our cow calf pairs uh, I think a really nice uh, display of what uh, the shorthorn breed can do in terms of production uh, two really good calves of that may calf and and the two-year-old that really nice heifer calf I think uh, two females that have a great look to them have done a really nice job in terms of in their calves and production I think just a really an outstanding lineup all the way through uh, for me it's not about frame it's more about the type uh, I think if you can make them big and good that's great if, if they're not there uh, frame isn't as important to me it's more the type the kind to build and, and I think we have a, a similarity all the way through every division all the way from our first heifer calf and down. I think uh, for me you got to cover the bases first in terms of depth of body, stoutness, uh, big rib and, and then after that when you can make them unique and good looking uh, those are the ones you got to go for. There's one I really like out here I think I'm going to go uh, slap a couple champions show you my two favorites a really awesome uh, female show here today I'm going to go pick two of them. Your grand champion female is your senior champion, yearling bred heifer, 3096 Millbrook Maria 6JET, exhibited by Millbrook Farms of Brome, Quebec and Longview Cattle Company. 
And your reserve champion female is 3068, Head for the Hills, Elsa 5K, exhibited by Head for the Hills, Shorthorns of Red vs. Saskatchewan. Congratulations. Today we have from Saskatchewan Cattlemen's Association, Kyle Hebert, SCA sponsors the banner. And from John Deere, we have Radine Crystal Brink, and John Deere sponsors the coat. Congratulations again. Can Russell Murray come to the front of the ring along with the Fendelet family for the presentation of the commercial breeder sign? John Deere is proud of its heritage of making outstanding farm equipment. John Deere dealers continue to live up to the same values the company was founded on. Quality, innovation, integrity, and commitment. On behalf of Agribition and all the exhibitors, we would like to thank John Deere for their involvement in Agribition. Be sure to stop by the John Deere booth to speak with John Deere and dealer representatives. We would also like to thank SCA. SCA is the voice of Saskatchewan beef cattle industry through advocacy, research, and communication. Our job is to help you succeed. And as well, we would like to thank MNP. MNP accounting agriculture specialists have deep roots in the industry. They are proud to sponsor and meet with you at the MNP Breed Champions Bar following the show. Thank you to our sponsors of the Champion Female and Reserve Champion Female. Our reserve ch grand champion female sponsor was Andrew Memorial of Regina, Saskatchewan. Once again, uh, we uh, have an award for our uh, Saskatchewan Commercial Breeder of the Year. And this year, the Fedelates from Halfford, Saskatchewan are, are, are the recipients of this reward for 2022. We've been doing this for many years, and, uh, and it's nice to see where we have these uh, op uh, cattle operations that raise uh, shorthorn cattle. Uh, it, it is a big part of their, uh, their breeding program. and. Uh, the Fenleys, they, uh, they've been uh, having shorthorns for many decades within, uh, in, the, in their operation. And it's nice to see um, Albert, uh, he started with uh, his dad, Rene, and so it's, and they, their farm was actually established in the 1800s. So, uh, so many years of raising cattle and uh, going through the environments and everything like that. And, uh, and so we can congratulations on uh, being the the, the commercial breeders of the year. Congratulations, Albert.
Cmax is one of the largest AI companies in the world, and with their partners WestGen in Western Canada, EastGen in Ontario, and the Maritimes and CIAQ in Quebec, they are proud to sponsor the President's Classic that happened on Tuesday. CMAX is one of the major sponsors of Canadian Western Agribition, and definitely we thank them for being part of CWA 2022. With beef sales accounting for nearly 30% of CMAX sales to their 100 distributors globally, they're proud of their support of the Canadian beef producers. CMAX continues to select genetics on their balanced breeding approach. Their approach utilizes genetics built on sound, proven pedigrees, critical phenotype assessment, performance analyst, and new age technologies. This is applied to all beef breeds within the CMEX beef program, including both Bosaris and Bos Indicus breeds. CMEX is the leader in genetic research, operating Bovatech, a state-of-the-art bovine research facility, providing advanced genetic technologies such as embryo and IVF production. We want to thank CMEX for being one of the Canadian Western Agribition sponsors for 2022. In our Hereford ring, I think we looks like we've got comments from our judges in class number 5C. Another really nice class to sort through. When I look at this class, I kind of see a lot of cow power on the top end of this class. I see donor cow potential, particularly in the top two, and that's how we kind of placed them. I really like the dimension of hip and the sweep to her rib and the length of stride in the class winning female. I just think she kind of puts it all together in terms of femininity, power, and overall design and build. The heifer in a second, I think, has got a tremendous future as a cow. If I could see her travel a little better on her rear pasterns and have a little more width below between her hocks, particularly as she's going away from me. I can see maybe a little more uh, breeding power in her compared to your class winner, but two super brood cow prospects that I think have donor cow written all over them. Then we have a female here I think is really maybe the kind of the exotic, attractive one, super extended through her front end. You really got to like her length of design. I just like to see this heifer with more power and uh, body in relation to the heifers in front of her, but certainly a super high quality female that I like a lot. And then we have a heifer that just kind of falls logically in fourth and that she's level design, has some dimension to her hip, and she's got some power to her foot and bone. I just like to see her in her type and kind a little bigger with a little more performance to compete a little higher today. We have the real different one in the class next. If you need more depth, if you need more body, you need more flushing ability, this is the heifer for you. I would just like to change this heifer through her head and neck and make her more feminine and just lean her up from top, from front to rear to make her compete a little better. But I certainly uh, appreciate the power and what she offers and her pieces. And then we have two females here that I just don't think of in this class can compete in terms of length of stride and body and structure and just overall mass and dimension. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for comments. First place in class number 5C goes to entry number 2704. The entry from Harvey Ranching and Yvonne Pavorn Performance Horses with Harvey Miss Ultimate ET 105K. In second place goes to entry number 2729, Glenlees Bambi 5K from Glenlees Farms. Third place in this class goes to entry number 2714, the entry from Arthur Pold Herfords with Arthur, Arthur's Marvelous ET119K. In fourth place in that class goes to entry number 2751, exhibited by Sheriff Stock Farm and RSK Farms, it's RSK FM Miss Princess 34K. Fifth place in that class goes to entry number 2740, the entry from Haroldson Pold Herefords with Haroldson's Lassie 36G 5K. Sixth place in that class goes to entry number 2722, the entry from HMS Highcliff from Outlook Saskatchewan with HMS Highcliff Karaoke 32K. Rounding out that class goes to entry number 2708, the entry from Brooks Farms with Brooks Maple 4K. That rounds out class number 5C. We're going to move into class number 5D in our polled female show. These are heifer calves born January 21st to January 31st of 2022. On our shorthorn side, we're going to do some awards quickly, so please stay out of the ring. Just hold off coming into the ring. 
We have Royce Molenbeek here from the Canadian Junior Shorthorn Association to do a quick presentation. So every year the Canadian Shorthorn Association has a scholarship and uh, this year there were two wonderful junior members that won um, the Ian McRae Memorial Scholarship and I'd like to congratulate Morgan Lehman on winning the $1,000. Um, it's her fourth year at Animal Science at the University of Saskatchewan. And the recipient of the $500 scholarship was Catherine Posberg. She'll be doing her first year at the University of Saskatchewan next year. We also have another award presented by Richard Molenbeek and Royce Molenbeek to Belinda Wagner. Okay, you gotta come on in too. You weren't mentioned. Oh, <laughs> so in the industry, we, uh, things move along and there's always changes. The Canadian Shorthorn Association has had a excellent secretary, friend, um, for over 20 years, uh, employed through the through Saskatchewan Livestock Association. And uh, she's moving on to, uh, uh, to the West Province, unfortunately. Uh, she'll, she'll still cheer for the riders, I'm assured. Uh, but anyway, Belinda Wagner has been with us for over 20 years and has been our secretary. And um, uh, we just wanna um, uh, recognize the work that she's done. The countless hours that she puts in. And uh, I think we've all learned. She's helped out with our uh, junior program immensely, and we appreciate that. So uh, if Belinda would come forward, we're going to give her a little, uh, a little clock here for all the time she's put in. There's a nice class here. We're gonna. There's two t females in this class that I think I kind of hold a, in high regard. Both of them. We choose the more feminine one. That's easier fleshing. Has a longer strided heifer. That I certainly dislike the length and stride of her as she moves around the ring. I think she balances quite nicely. The heifer in second definitely has the advantage in foot in bone mass and muscle mass and is just a more powerful individual. I would just like to see this heifer travel with a little more flex on her hawk and pass in relation to your top place heifer. The two really good ones, I just choose the more feminine, more maternally efficient looking one to start the class with. And then we have two kind of longer, more feminine design females that have a lot of good in them in terms of, uh, of just longevity and structure. I just like to see these females with more to them, more body and more fleshing ability and more width from their chest floor th throughout their pin. And that kind of is the same as the last two heifers here. These females are uh, fairly functional in their design. I just like to see them with more power and more performance. Thank you. 
Well, thank you very much, Hampton. In that class, entry number 2696 is going to lead out the class. That entry from Green Ridge Farms with GRH Rita 12K. Second place in that class goes to entry number 2712, the entry from Remital West and Blair Athol Pole Herfords. It's Remital West Taylor 17K. Third place in that class goes to Dallas Farms with entry number 2727 with BCD Covergirl 222K. Fourth place in that class goes to entry number 2736, the entry from JK Frazier Cattle with JKF Emerald 2K. Fifth place goes to Prairie Lane Acres with Lone Pine Sibyl 403K. Right out that class goes to entry number 2713. It's Sapphire 713K from JRP XPF Livestock. We're going to move next in our Hereford ring to class number 5E. These are polled females born January 15th to January 30th. On the shorthorn side, we're ready to start our bull show. In the class, we have bulls born March 1st to July 15th, 2022. For anyone who's just joining us, today we have Jeff Anderson as our judge. He was raised in Bethune, Saskatchewan, where he continues to run a grain and cattle operation. Jeff, along with his wife Lacey and three boys, Seeger, Swayze, and Stiles, currently manage KT Ranches in the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. KT Ranches is a purebred Angus and Semital operation, along with a commercial herd used for embryo transfer. KT Ranch Ranches hosts two annual bull sales per year, one in February in Moose Jaw and one in March in Cherryville, B.C. For some of our exhibitors on the Hereford show around the ring, we've had a few questions. Uh, in between our female show and our bull show, we will have about a 20-minute break. So you'll see in the show program, we do have a break plan between the bulls, uh, pardon me, the females and the bulls. I've been told it will be a 20-minute break. We would like to fit, thank a few more of our sponsors. P Pride Seeds and Cantera Seeds, brought to you by Pride Seeds and Cantera Seeds. Get best-in-class corn seed and service farmers can't get anywhere else. Discover Pride Seeds at cantera.com. Thank you. Experience quality service with a warm, welcoming atmosphere at any one of our many accommodation choices. As a proud sponsor of Canadian Western Agribition, the Regina Hotel Association is pleased to offer guests staying at our member hotel's complimentary shuttle service to and from the event from November 28th to December 3rd between 7 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Thank you to the Regina Hotel Association. On the shorthorn side, we will get some comments from our judge on our first bull calf class. Well, a really nice way to start out our bull show on the shorthorn side here. I think we have a May, an April, and two Marches. Uh, just a really nice group of bulls here right from top to bottom. We start off with the bull here. I think just the most unique bull. I think one that's got a great look to him. He's really cool in his makeup. He's got a nice hip. He's got lots of top to him. He's got some ribs, some flank, moves well. Just a really high, pre highly presented, good-looking bull. The May bull we have in second. Uh, obviously, the youngest bull in the class. Definitely not the heaviest bull in the class, but this is one I think really follows well with the first place bull. One that's got all the pieces right he's got the nice hip and he's big top i think one uh, just being a young may calf uh, one that's going to get better and better every day and i think one that's going to be really interesting in a few months and one that's going to be really nice and easy to sell come springtime we get into our third place bowl here's the probably the highest performing bowl in the class uh, one that's got a lot of length of body a lot of frame to him uh, just a little flatter in his hip makeup not quite the the punch when you look at him from behind. We add it like that a little more flank to him, but certainly one that's got some pounds to him. He's got some length of body and some frame, and one that uh, is probably the highest performing one in the class. We get into the, our fourth place bull again, one that's really a good bull. He's got some good pieces to him. He's got some shape to his ribs, some top, some hip. Just gives up a bit of length of body, some power and some mass to the ones above him, but certainly a really a high quality bull right from, uh, right from our first to our last bull, uh, four really good bulls. Nice way to start the bull show on our short horn side. Thanks, Jeff. And our split one of bull calves 
In first place, 3111 JTPH Storm Surge 58K, exhibited by JT Livestock Limited of Stetler, Alberta, additional owner of Pinch Hill Cattle Co. In second was 3113 MSA Matt 53K, exhibited by Martin Farms of Gore Bay, Ontario. In third, 3110 Prospect Hill Kahuna 11K, exhibited by Prospect Hill Shorthorns. Tyler Holman and Shelly Peterson. And rounding out the class, 3107 Murraydale Twang 9K ET, exhibited by Murraydale Shorthorns. Coming into the ring now, we'll have split two of bulls born March 1st to July 15th, 2022. Over in our Hereford ring, I think we've got some comments on class number 5E. Well, we probably sound like a broken book here, but we're trying to establish a type and kind on the type of females we like to breed and what I think can uh, bring more to the table in terms of, you know, registered bull production, our commercial bull production, and the type of females we need for longevity and maternal efficiency. And I think the one that wins this class kind of fits the bill on that where she's an attractive, high-quality, sound-made female that still has a lot to her in terms of body, top, and dimension. She just has a nice cow power look to her and has power without taking anything away from her femininity. If you like one that's extremely well-designed and you like to build in one and sharpness and quality, the second-place heifer will certainly fall right into your wheelhouse because this, this is a female that's super sharp fronted but still has power to her front end that she does have some dimension through her chest floor and in her forerib not just as a geeky necked one just a nice female that i just think needs more power to compete with the heifer in front of her um, I think we have two really good females here in terms of function. I really like the length of stride and the overall balance of this next one coming due. I just like to see this heifer a little sharper through her front end. I'd like to see her maybe a little more dimension to her top, but certainly a really super nice female in terms of cow potential. The next heifer I think is really good on the stop. I like her side profile. I just like to loosen her up when she moves. She's a little tight in her top and I like to see her move a little better off both ends. I like her on the stop though. And then we have two really nice females, me and Nathan commented that this class is probably one of our most complete ones in terms of depth of quality. And I think both these females should be commended because they, uh, even though they're down towards the bottom of the class, they still have uh, quite a bit of uh, longevity and a lot of good in them for breeding purposes. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Hampton. In first place in our class number 5E goes to entry number 2702, the entry from Harvey Ranching and Stephen Knutson with Harvey OVHF Miss Candy 14K. Second place in that class goes to entry number 2705. It's RSK Miss Ivory 7K exhibited by RSK Farms. Tinley and Lily Hi uh, Harvey and Parker and Lennon in Springford. In third place in that class goes to entry number 2742. The exhibited by Flewelling Cattle Company is FCC Betty 4K. Fourth place in that class goes to entry number 2701. The entry from Harvey Ranching with Harvey Marvel 24K. Fifth place in that class goes to entry number 2720. The entry from Moorhaven Farms with MHPH. Karen, 1201K. Running out that class goes to entry number 2731. The entry from Lone Pine Cattle Services, uh, Mount Vern Pold Herefords and Kirby Pold Herefords with Kirby Lone Pine, MV Sibyl, 37K. That rounds out class number 5A. We're going to move into our Hereford ring. These are our polled females born January 2nd to January 11th, class number 5F. We would like to thank another one of our sponsors, Trow Nutrition. Trow Nutrition is a global leader in cattle nutrition. Their products and services support purebred, commercial, and feedlot operations. For more information, contact your local Trow Nutrition representative today. We want to thank in our Hereford ring our Saskatchewan Junior Hereford volunteers that are handing out the ribbons today. Jade Charlton, Hannah Lees, and Chloe Wagner are the great young ladies that are handing out our junior uh, ribbons here from the Saskatchewan Junior Hereford Association. Thank you very much, ladies. 
They want to remind you, along with all the juniors, that the Saskatchewan Junior Hereford Association would like to invite everyone to the Junior Hereford uh, meeting. Their fall meeting will happen Saturday at 2 p.m. after the junior show, and it'll happen in the John Deere Sale Arena. So 2 o'clock in the afternoon after the junior show, the Saskatchewan Junior Hereford Association is going to have their fall meeting. So all the juniors are invited. But thank you very much, ladies, for being our ribbon girls today. On the short horn side, we'll have some comments from our judge on your bull calf class. Well, an interesting class top to bottom here. I think definitely some differences in types and kinds, and, and then definitely some differences in maturity and growth patterns in here. I think we have to take these bulls to where they're at today, but at the same time, I think we have to kind of try to predict to where they're going in the future. I think the bull we start off with just the biggest, uh, most complete bull of the class. I think the one that's got is the highest performing. He's got the most hip, the most top, the most uh, rib in him. I think uh, just the highest performing, uh, most complete bull. The, the white bull we have in second place, I think, follows uh, as good as any bull next. He's got the same build to him. He's got the length of body. He doesn't quite have the top, the shape of the hip, or the shape of his rib. But I think one that's going to get better and better every day. He's nice in his lines. He's well built. I think one uh, we get get later into the spring, uh, one that's going to have a really nice look to him and uh, one that's going to be easy to sell come bull sale time. We get into our third place bull here. Uh, one, I really like the shape of his top and his hip. He gets a little straighter when you get into that back leg. Uh, gives up a bit of the length of body and the power and the rib to that bull. But one that's really nicely made, uh, one that's got a lot of shape to him, a lot of meat and muscle up high. You may just like to give him a little bit more flex, a little bit more flank, but definitely one you appreciate for the top that he has in him. We get to our fourth place bull. I think uh, a bull that's a, a deep rib bull, definitely green green and fresh in his makeup, one that's going to get better and better every day, I think. The one I really like, the, the depth of rib to him. He's not as high performing and powerful as the bulls we have in front, but one that I think has got the right pieces in terms of his build and shape and the rib that he has. We get to our next two bulls, uh, two really similar type bulls. I like the frame these bulls have. I like the length of body they have. Just bulls, when you look at them from behind, don't have the shape of the hip, the shape of the top, a little a little, not quite the depth of rib and flank to them, but definitely bulls you got to appreciate for the length and the power and the frame they have. Really interesting class right from top to bottom. Thanks, Jeff. First in class, 3115, Glenford De Niro, 88K, exhibited by Bender Shorthorns. Second, 3112, Bell M Kryptonite, 80K, exhibited by Bell M Farms. Third, 3114, exhibited by Martin Farms. Fourth, 3106, exhibited by Murray Dale Shorthorns. Fifth, 3109, exhibited by Height Land and Livestock and Elizabeth Lockhurst, and sixth, 3108, exhibited by Height Land and Livestock Home. Coming into the ring now, we have our junior division bull calf. From the first class, we have 3111 JTPH Storm Surge 58K, exhibited by JT Livestock Limited of Stetler, Alberta, additional owner Pinch Hill Cattle Co. And with that class, 3113 MSA Matt 53K, exhibited by Martin Farms of Gorby, Ontario. From your second split again, 3115 Glenford De Niro 88K, exhibited by Bender Shorthorns. And second, 3112 Bell M Kryptonite 80K, exhibited by Bell M Farns. I believe on our short, or Hereford side, we have some comments. We'll get some comments on our class number 5F from Judge Hampton Cornelius. I like this class quite a bit. We're going to start with a female that I think just kind of puts it all together in terms of just overall balance, her structure as she walks around the ring. She's got enough to her and she's still attractive enough, so I just think she wins the class. I think there's some difficulties as you analyze the next two or three females. On the heifer in second, she came in here pretty excited. I think she was pretty ramped up. She was roaching her top and pretty choppy in her stride and didn't look like she had as much to her as the heifers around her. 
as she's relaxed out here. You really have to admire her for her design and her build and her, that way she's made through her front end, yet she still has enough power and enough dimension to her, I think, to have some fleshing ability and some brood cow potential. So I think she just logically falls into second. The heifer in uh, third here is really a unique individual. I really appreciate her for her, her easy, easy fleshing. I like the dimension to her top and I really like her overall length and just her build, but what I'd like to change about her is when she travels away from you, she really wants to drop at her pins and she wants to get really underneath herself. So structurally, as the class progressed, she really just couldn't hang with these top two heifers just as a design and as a longevity and travel aspect of it. And then we have a heifer in uh, fourth here. I mean, if you like a powerful one with a lot of body to her and a lot of dimension, you're gonna like this heifer. She just needs to lift up her front end and just have a little more presence and quality look to her out here. As uh, you know, time goes on and she's out in the pasture and she leans up and gets a little more freshness to her, you know, a guy is probably gonna certainly change their mind on that, but we're looking at them today in the ring and that's where, how, kinda how we see it. And then the heifer here, you know, I gotta like the length of body, I like the, the frame and I like the weight on this heifer. I just like to see this heifer with a little more quality through her front end compared to the heifers in front of her. And not quality in terms of length of front end, I just like to see her more feminine and a little more cowy looking. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. In this class, first place goes to entry number 2717 from Copper Creek Ranch. Second place in that class goes to entry number 2694 from Manchester Pold Herefords. Third place in that class goes to entry number 2745 from Stonewood Grange. In fourth place, entry number 2744 from Stonewood Grange and Clifford Road Cattle Company. And running out that class goes to entry number 2721 from Eris Acres and Diamond H. Herefords. As we bring in our Grand and Reserve Champion class in the Senior Heifer Calf Division, we'll get some comments in our Shorthorn Ring. Oh, I think a really interesting first division in our bull show on the Shorthorn side here. We have some young calves here. We've got a May and April and a couple marches here. Like we talked about in the last class, there's definitely some differences in maturity, some differences in the way they're built and the type and the kind. I think uh, it is a trade-off if, we, uh, if we're going to predict where they're going or where they're at right now. I think there's one out here that uh, is really, really good, and I think that there's another one that follows them as good as any. Uh, just I think uh, these are young calves are going to change a lot. Uh, it'd be really interesting to see these uh, a year from now but even in the springtime, I think, uh, come bull sale time, uh, there's going to be some differences. Uh, I think you can go for a cooler looking one or a more power type bull. And, and either way, you can you just do what you want to do when these bulls come up for sale. I think whatever you, in terms you need, uh, if you need more power, you can go one way. If you need more look and, uh, and more depth of body and, and, and more hair, you can go another way. But I think four really good bulls, four that are going to be really interesting uh, as they mature. A really interesting division to start. I'll go show you my two favorites. Your junior division champion bull calf is JTPH Storm Surge 50AK, exhibited by JT Livestock Limited of Stettler, Alberta. And your reserve is from Split 2, Glenford De Niro 88K, exhibited by Bender Shorthorns of Newdorf, Saskatchewan. The banners in this class are sponsored by Horseshoe Creek Farms of Weyburn, Saskatchewan, and Peckover Farms of Lapman, Saskatchewan. Thank you. So over at our Hereford ring, uh, we're going to bring uh, the, all these females are coming back in to vie for our Senior Heifer Calf Championship class. Out of our first split, entry number 2738 comes to us from Haroldson Pulled Herefords and River Valley Pulled Herefords. It's Haroldson's Marvel, 7437 ET39K. Second place in that class was entry number 2724 from HMS Highcliff, which HMS Highcliff Corby, 23K. In our second class, first place in that class, winter into number 2710 from Kaylee Cattle Company and Ockvale Herefords with CBB Ockvale Vicky 212K. Second place in that class was from RSK Farms with RSK Miss Tamra 44K. Out of our C class, first place in that class went to Harvey Ranching and Yvonne Pult Performance Horses with 2704, Harvey Miss Unlimited ET 105K. Second place in that class was 2729 from Glenlees Farms, it's Glenlees Bambi 5K. Out of our D split, uh, first place in that class was from Green Ridge Farms with 2696, Rita 12K. 
Second place in that class was entry number 2712 from Blair Athol Pold Herfords and Remital West with Remital West Taylor 17K. Out of our class E, first place came from entry number 2702 with Harvey OVHF Miss Candy 14K, exhibited by Harvey Ranching and Stephen Knudsen. Second place out of the E split was 2705. Uh, entry number 2705 is RSK Miss Ivory 7K, exhibited by RSK Farms, uh, Tinley and Lila Harvey, and Parker and Landon Springford. Out of the last split, you just saw this F split. Entry first place was 2717 from Copper Creek Ranch. It's CCR Princess ET3K. And second place in that split was entry number 2694 from Manchester Pold Herefords with Manchester Sadie 206K. So these are our females competing for class number six. This is our pole champion and reserve champion senior heifer calf class. We'd like to thank our sponsors very much in this division, Aqua Hollow Farms and Hereford Girls, our great sponsors in our senior heifer calf division. We're going to get some comments here on our big uh, senior heifer calf split from Judge Nathan Frost. Uh, another real nice division here, just top to bottom. Uh, we start with a heifer here that's just got so much mass and power as she comes at you. And I mean, just uh, square built and good down her top, good on her feet and legs. And definitely a high quality female. Uh, heifer comes next, uh, still plenty green, but still plenty to offer. And uh, that's kind of how I got her top of that class. I mean, she still has got some hip, some foot, some bone, but still good up through that head and neck. Heifer comes next, probably real complete, real deep heifer. She just probably lacks a little bit of, in the movement department to really be just a force out here in the division. Heifer comes next, real striking female, just lacks a little mass, but still has some good sweep to her rib and uh, really looks nice. Heifer comes here in fifth, or in the fifth hole, really big bodied, good moving, good up through her head and neck, got some power up over her hip when you get behind her and uh, is definitely in contention. Like I say, uh, Hampton said in class, the heifer here in the, that comes out of last class, just wins that out, just completeness and quality. Um, maybe a tick planer, but really nothing to take away, and I think she'll make a super cow. So we'll get you a division champion. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors in this division, Aqua Hollow Farms and Hereford Girls. Our champion senior heifer class is going to come out of split number E, entry number 2702 from Harvey Ranching and Stephen Knudsen with Harvey OVS Miss Candy 14K. And our reserve champion is going to go all the way back up to split number A. Congratulations to Haroldson Pold Herefords and River Valley Pold Herefords with entry number 2738. It's Haroldson's Marvel 7437ET39K. Congratulations to Harvey Ranching, Stephen Knutson on their champion heifer calf in the senior division and reserve grand champion entry number 2738 from Haroldson Pold Herefords and River Valley Pold Herefords. We want to thank our sponsors very much in our senior heifer calf division, Aqua Hollow Farms and the Hereford Girls. On the shorthorn side, we will have some comments from our judge on our split one of bulls born January 1st to February 29th, 2022. 
Really good, highly competitive class on our Shorthorn side. Four really good solid bulls here. I think uh, four that all have a lot of quality to them. The dark red bull we let off here with this one's pretty unique for me. Uh, he's got a great look to him. He's deep bodied. He's got enough mass to him. Uh, one that really travels free. He's got a nice leg in him. Really highly presented. Just a good looking bull. It's got a lot to offer. Uh, one that could be a, a big time show bull for the next couple of years. Definitely a good breeding bull. One that's pretty unique, unique and one I really, really like. We get into our second place bull. I like this bull a lot. I really like the shape to him. He's got a lot of shape in his hip, the top of his hip. Uh, he's big top. Maybe not quite as free moving as the one we have in, in first place. Doesn't quite have the depth of body, but this is a really, really good bull too. Uh, just gets up against uh, one that's pretty unique, but two really good solid bulls to start that class off. Two that I really, really like. We get into our third place bull. Uh, just switch these once we got them up close together. I think there's just a bit more shape in terms of his hip and his top and his rib. Uh, two really good bulls here. These, this one here I think has just got a bit more to offer in terms of meat and mass to him. And then we get to our, last, our fourth place bull here, one that's super long bodied. I really like the frame. I like the length. I just wish you could give him more dimension when you look at him from behind in terms of his hip, the bottom of his hip, and then his rib. But uh, really a long bodied good bull. Four really good bulls in a highly competitive class there. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. First in class, 3121 NVR Royal Reserve 15K exhibited by New View Ranch of Elm Creek, Manitoba. Second in class, 3116, Head for the Hills, Kevin, 15K, exhibited by Head for the Hills, Shorthorn of Red versus Saskatchewan. Third in class, 3126, Diamond, Krugerrand, 24K, exhibited by Diamond, Shorthorns of Okotoks, Alberta. And rounding out that class, 3124, Bell M, classified 18K, exhibited by Bell M, Farms of Inglefeld, Saskatchewan. Coming into the ring now, we will have split two of bull calves born January 1st to February 29th, 2022. We would like to thank some more sponsors. Versatile wishes the best of luck to all participants. The Versatile Nemesis is the only Canadian built tractor in the segment designed for the toughest conditions. Thank you, Versatile. When you have the opportunity to pull ahead of the pack, make sure you do it with a powerful GMC Sierra. Agribition is brought to you in part by our premium platinum sponsor, GMC. Pull ahead of the pack with a powerful GMC Sierra. Thank you very much to GMC for your platinum sponsorship of Canadian Western Agribition. This year's Saskatchewan Shorthorn Honor of the Breed Award recipient is Horseshoe Creek Farms, Gerald Grant and Chris Alexander of Weyburn, Saskatchewan. The Alexander family has been an incredible promoter of the Shorthorn breed. Congratulations. One of our other major sponsors are MNP. MNP Accounting are your agricultural specialists that have deep roots in the industry. They're proud to sponsor and meet with you at the MNP Breed Champion bars following the show. Make sure you stop by the Breed Champion locations and visit with MNP. We want to thank Chubb Lugandago and his entire team from MNP, our main sponsors here at Canadian Western Agribition. MMP, your agriculture accounting specialist.
We're going to move next in our Hereford ring back to the horn division. We're going to be in class number seven. These are our horn females born January 1st to February 4th, 2021. In our yearling Hereford division, we've got four entries into this class. Class number seven in our horn females. This class and division in the Horn Show is sponsored by Misty Valley Farms and Cliffhanger Signs and, his desi signs and Designs. Thank you very much to our sponsors in our Horn Yearling Heifer Division. Again, Misty Valley Farms and Cliffhanger Signs and Designs. On the short horn side, we will have some comments from our judge, Jeff, on our split two of bull calves. Well, I think we definitely have some more variation uh, from top to bottom in this class, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can have variation throughout the breed, and, that, and that, it's great. You can offer different uh, customers different things, and that's perfectly pr uh, what you want to do, and, and whatever direction you want to go, that's good with me. Um, for me, I think we just, this bull does the most things right. He's the longest bodied, he's got the biggest top, he's got the most shape. I think he's one of the higher performing bulls in the class. He's still good looking, he moves well, uh, nice leg in him. Uh, he's got some top, some power. I think for me, he's just the most complete bull of the, of, the, of the group. We get into our second place bull, definitely a different uh, style bull than the one that we let off the class with. A more moderate, deeper bodied bull. Uh, doesn't have the length of body or the power, but I think a bull that's really complete. I like the depth of body. I like how well balanced he is in terms his hip and his top and his rib uh, I think just a really the, the next most logical bull to be second in this class we get to the third place bull again a bull I like the hip more probably on than the second place bull he gets a little different in his top he's that little uh, more abrupt in his top line not as nice through his flank and rib uh, just a bit of a trade-off between those two bulls in terms of depth of body or hip, whichever way you want to go. I think uh, you can make a case for either of those bulls being second and third. We get in our next place bull here, the fourth one. Uh, super long-bodied bull. I really like the length of body. The bull's got a lot of frame to him. When you get in behind him, he doesn't have the shape in that top or the rib. He's got a bit more shoulder to him, a little more shoulder. I can deal with some shoulder if he has the hip and the mass to him, but just a bull, it's a little PC for me, but super long-bodied and the bull's got a lot of frame to him. We get to this next bull. Uh, a bull, it's a little green in his makeup, uh, gives up some performance and power, but certainly a nicely made bull, uh, just one that gets uh, out gassed a little in this class. Really interesting class from top to bottom. Thanks, Jeff. First in class, 3118, Coldstream Pendleton 9K, exhibited by Coldstream Farms of Flesherton. Second, 3123, Bell M Stockmaster 2K, exhibited by Bell M Farms of Inglefeld, Saskatchewan. Third, 3127, Glenford Duke 27K, exhibited by Bender Shorthorns. Fourth, 3128, Glenford De Niro, 42K, exhibited by Bender Shorthorns. And fifth, Diamond Creek Kodiak, 32K, exhibited by Diamond Creek Cattle Company. Next in the ring, we'll have, we will have split three of bull calves born January 1st to February 29th, 2022. If anyone from Peckover Farms is here, come down for the next class for the Senior Division Champion. And thank you for sponsoring the banners. In this uh, Horn Hereford Yearling Heifer Division, I think we have a logical class winner. I think the female that wins this class kind of excels the class in just what I consider overall quality and function. She's the feminine, the easy moving heifer out here. She has the most utter development, so she, <clears throat> she's bred up the most in the, at this time. Would we like to give her more, more to her? Certainly. I'd like to maybe just give her a little more overall rib. But this female just kind of 
rules this class in terms of design and quality and just a nice female that maybe just needs a little more mass to her. And that is the advantage of the second place heifer who def definitely has more rib mass, more depth of her flank, and she's a longer hip female. I just like to see this female a little more extended and uh, feminine through her front end. And I'd like to see her a little more utter development relative to your class winner. Your third place heifer, <clears throat> she's the broody heifer in here. She's probably has the most body condition on her. I know you can feed these things as heavy as you want them to. Um, that's, so that's not necessarily an advantage, but it does mean to me that she has the doing ability and the ability to take that feed and make her uh, have the body and the dimension and the body score she needs to have to uh, get through the tough times in the winter. The heifer in fourth, you know, she definitely has an advantage over some of the heifers in front of her. She's certainly long and she's feminine. I just think this heifer is just a little too hard doing and doesn't have enough, enough body and uh, dimension in relation to her frame size as the heifers in front of her. Thank you. In uh, this class, number seven, first place in this class, goes to entry number 2666. The entry from Hershey Herefords with G.H. Jasmine 32J. In second place, entry number 2667. Entry from Dallas Farms with uh, 4D, 619D, Journey 101J. Third place in this class goes to entry number 2664, Stonewood Rose 2J from Arthur Pold Herefords, Stonewood Grange, and Sterry Cattle. Fourth place in this class and ran out the class, entry number 2665, the entry from Hershey Herefords and Apple Lane with GH Domino Millie 73J. So those females, uh, first place from Hershey Herefords and second from Dallas Farms are going to be our yearling heifer, Grand and Reserve Grand Champion for the division. We want to thank our sponsors, Misty Valley Farms and Cliffhanger Signs and Designs, our sponsors in class number seven. We're going to see those females back in our championship class. As they finish up their pictures, we're going to move next into our pulled females. These will be our yearling heifers in our pulled side of the show. As we move into class number, this is our 8A split to our polled females, born March 18th to April 27th. We do want to remind everyone, between our Hereford heifers, our female show, and the bull show, we will be having a 20-minute break. So we'll have a little bit of an intermission between our bull show and our female show. Please plan in the back, 20-minute break. On the short horn side, we'll have some comments on, from our judge on our split three. Well, another really good class of, of January bulls here. Again, one that's got some variation in it. But I think we started off with a really good bull. I really like the hip shape, uh, the really long body, big top bull. Just the bull that has the most of everything. He's the, the biggest, more highest poor performing bull. Just a really good bull that does a lot of things right. We got a second place bull, a, a bull that's got, got the same design to him. He doesn't quite have as much as everything. He doesn't have that shape and that hip, the top to him. But a bull I think follows in really nice. I really like the scroll development on this second place bull. I think a bull that does a lot of good things right just doesn't have the wow factor in the hip and the muscle that bull in the first place has. We get to the third place bull, a really nice made bull, uh, probably the greenest bull in the class, one that's going to get better and better every day, but one that's got a deep rib, he's nice in his lines, I think one that's got a big bright future in front of him, just gets outpowered a bit in this class today, but one I think is going to be really good come bull sale time in springtime. We get to our fourth place bull here, one that's really long bodied, fighting the halter a little bit today, but uh, one that's really long bodied, a high performing bull, again one that's a little greener made, but I think one that's going to get better better every day. A really interesting class of bulls right from top to bottom. Thank you. 
First in class, 3117 Coldstream Pendleton 7K, exhibited by Coldstream Farms. Second in class, 3122 Bell M Nuclear Energy 1K, exhibited by Bell M Farms. Third in class, 3125 Diamond King of Rock 1K, exhibited by Diamond Shorthorns and Dan Stevenson. And in fourth place, 3119 Diamond Creek Fort Knox 67K, exhibited by Diamond Creek Cattle Company. Coming back into the ring, we are on Class 16 Senior Division Champion Bull Calf. From Split 1, 3121 NVR Royal Reserve 15K, exhibited by New View Ranch. In second, 3116 Head for the Hills Kevin 15K, exhibited by Head for the Hills Shorthorn. From Split 2, 3118 Coldstream Pendleton 9K, exhibited by Coldstream Farms. And 3123 Bell M Stockmaster 2K, exhibited by Bell M Farms. And from our third split, 3117 Coldstream Pendleton 7K, exhibited by Coldstream Farms. And 3122 Bell M Nuclear Energy 1K, exhibited by Bell M Farms. We will have some comments from our judge, Jeff, on our senior division bull calf championship. Well, a really strong division all the way through in our three classes. I think uh, a really nice uh, indication of what the shorthorn breed can do in terms of uh, bull power, in terms of the commercial or the purebred sector. I think uh, bulls, that, we had some variation through all three classes, but definitely bulls that can cover all the bases. We have some higher performing, bigger muscle bulls, some, some cooler looking, unique bulls. Uh, just kind of think there's a, a few different options you can go with here. There's a couple that I think are pretty unique for me. I'm going to go show you my two favorites in this senior division. Your champion senior bull calf comes from split one. NVR Royal Reserve, 15K exhibited by New View Ranch, as well as 3116 Head for the Hills Kevin, 15K exhibited by Head for the Hills Shorthorns. Congratulations. Now we start looking at females like this and you have to envision what they're going to look like next spring because that's what really matters. Uh, we have a uh, one that wins this class I think just super easy. She's got all the look and the cow ability that I'm ever looking for to make progeny whether it's on the high end of bull production or 
putting replacement females back in your herd, balance, quality. You, you can write a book about what this female looks like to me, and I think she wins the class pretty easily. I think we got a very close decision between second and third on two females that I think are a little heavier in their condition, and I'd like to see them further along in calf, both of them, and maybe change their udder structure a little bit. The heifer in second, I think, follows type and kind with your class winner a little better, and that I think she's truer in her front end. I especially like her front feet. Um, she's a lot cleaner between her toes and cleaner in her chest. I really, the toe part kind of bothers me on the third place heifer. You got to really clean up, you know, what may be a problem down the road between her toes. I certainly like the length and dimension. I think she has that advantage over your second place heifer. But like I said, I just like to clean up between her toes and maybe just clean her chest up a little bit. But I like the female for her power and her dimension. Just a couple little small things to pick on. Then we got some females down the road. I'd like to see both of them further in calf. I really like the length and the design of the fourth place heifer. She's certainly feminine, maybe a little straight off both ends as she's traveling away from us. And I think that's apparent to everyone. I'd just like to see this heifer a little freer in her movement, a little uh, softer in her design. The heifer coming out last, she's powerful and she has a lot of dimension. Maybe just a little too terminal looking in this class. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. First place in that class in our split number 8A goes to entry number 2768. The entry from Haroldson Pulled Herefords and River Valley Pulled Herefords with Haroldson's Millie 65J. Second place goes to entry number 2759 and the entry from Kaylee Cattle Company and J.K. Frazier Cattle with CBB JKF Lady B 427J. Third place goes to entry number 2766, the entry from Glenlee's Farms with Glenlee's BNC Starmaker ET147J. Fourth place goes to entry number 2755, the entry from Blair Athol Farms and Anita Doctor with Blair Athol Sassy 145J. Rounding out that class, entry number 2754 with CNT KG 51F Sharona 71J, exhibited by Medonte Highlands Pulled Herefords and Chula Vista Pulled Herefords. Those great females we'll see back in our championship class, but we're going to move into split number 8B. These will be our yearling heifers in the Pulled Show, born January 22nd to February 25th. On the Shorthorn side, we have Split 1, Class 17, Bulls born March 1st to December 31st, 2021. The top two in this class will also be your Junior Division Champion and Reserve Champion Yearling Bull, sponsored by Murraydale Shorthorns and Peckover Farms. On the Shorthorn side, we will have some comments from our judge. We're getting into our junior division here. I think, again, a class with some variances in it. So we've got some, some bigger frame, longer body bulls, some deeper, moderate frame bulls. I think something kind of for everybody. For me, the, the bull, I think we start off the class with the most complete bull. He's got the most of everything again. The biggest top, longest bodied, best looking, uh, soundest kind of bull. I think a really complete, solid kind of a bull to lead off. We get into our second place bull again. Probably the same length of body. Doesn't quite have the depth of rib, the depth of flank, or the muscle mass. But I think one that follows in pretty well with that first place bull. We get into 
our third place bowl, again, one that's a bit more modern frame, doesn't have the shape and the hip to him, uh, doesn't quite have the depth of body and flank or power, but certainly one that's really nice in his lines in terms of balance. Uh, just one we just kind of would like more of him. Then we get to our fourth place bowl. Here's one that's a really moderate frame, deep-sided kind of a bowl. Again, a bowl that we'd like to see more of him, but certainly if you need to moderate some cows and add some depth of body, that one's a pretty good option for you. Four really interesting bowls in our junior division. Thanks, Jeff. First in class, 3131 HLLC Double Vision 42J, exhibited by Heightland and Livestock. Second, 3516 Cactus Flat Jackpot 1J, exhibited by Cactus Flat Shorthorns. And third, 3129 Sask Valley Jangle 220J, exhibited by Sask Valley Stock Farm. And fourth, 3130 Sask, Sask Valley Jackpot 232J, exhibited by Sask Valley Stock Farm. Again, the top two in this class are your junior champion and reserve junior champion bulls. Coming in next, we will have class 19 bulls born January 1st to February 28th, 2021. This class will also be your senior division champion and reserve champion yearling bull. We would like to thank Budweiser. Budweiser is proud to support the Canadian agriculture industry and is committed to working with farmers across the country for years to come. Thank you, Budweiser. The Saskatchewan Shorthorn Executive would like to thank Betty Wyatt for all her work as she returned as barn boss for the 2022 show. We are very lucky to have her to keep things running smoothly smoothly and as an incredible support during the new executive transition. Thank you, Betty.
We're going to get some comments in our Hereford ring on class number 8B. Oh, there's one that makes you put your thinking caps on because I admire virtually every female in this class and, you know, I would take any of them home and be pretty proud to have them. Uh, there's a difference in type and kind between your class winner and your second place one and we uh, recognize that. The one that wins is the best structured female in the class. I feel that she's the highest quality female on the side profile and when she travels, I really like the longevity and the maternal efficiency that this female has. And I think she definitely has a advantage in her head and neck as far as just a nice cow look or femininity or eye set, pigment. Just makes me a little more comfortable with the breeding potential of this female. With that being said, the second place female definitely has a big advantage in depth of rib, depth of flank, and probably dimension to her hip, probably down low. Would I like to see her travel a little better, have a little more slope to her shoulder and flex to her hawk? Yes, and that's why she's second, but this is a tremendous female and I can see this going either way in a lot of people's eyes. Today we're gonna use the more feminine female that's a little sounder and fresher and a little more feminine. The third place female, I mean, if you wanna talk about one, if you just wanna say this one glides, this one glides. You gotta love, I love the structure and the design of this female. She just needs to have a little more feminine look to her, a little more utter development, be bred a little further along compared to the two females in front of her. But this one's structure, balance, she's a really good one. Just like to see her with a little more, a tick more femininity. The fourth place female, I, got a lot, I love the depth and the fleshing ability of this one. I just like to maybe ramp her up in terms of overall quality, especially through her front end, to give her a little advantage in this class. And then we got a really stout one here. I mean, we're talking about long, heavy bone, a lot of performance. This female is just a little terminal. I'd like to see a little more look to her in terms of just overall femininity and maternal look to her to compete a little higher. And then we got a female down here. I think she just kind of ran into a buzzsaw, to tell you the truth. We'd all have her out in the pasture in the bread heifer deal laying on corn stalks, and we'd like her. But in this class, she just doesn't have enough dimension. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for those great comments in class number 8B. First place in that class goes to entry number 2770. The entry from AL Pulled Herefords with AL Maple 60J. Second place in that class goes to Remital West and Medonte Highland Pulled Herefords with entry number 2760. Remital West Destiny 52J. Third place in that class goes to entry number 2757. The entry from RSK Farms and Twin View Pulled Herefords with RSK Miss Say GT 90J. Fourth place in that class goes to Arthur Pold Herfords with Elm Lodge Jewelry 15J. Fifth in that class goes to entry number 2758, the entry from Brooks Farms with Brooks Kate 15J. Rounding out that class, entry number 2762, the ending from JRP XPF Livestock with Elm Lodge J 14J. We'll see those two females back in our next division class as we move in in our polled show to entry number or class number 8C. These are our polled bred heifers born January 4th to January 19th. On the shorthorn side, we'll have some comments from our judge on our senior division of yearling bulls. Well, another interesting class, the bulls, again, one we got some differences in. The, the top two bulls, I think the placing's pretty close on these two. I think for me, it comes down to a couple things. Uh, I think the, fir the first place bull's a bit freer moving. He's a little bigger topped. Uh, both these bulls, I think I'd like to add some rib and some softness in the middle to them. But I think uh, two pretty unique bulls. Just I think there's a bit more mobility on the first place bull, a little longer front end, a little cooler looking bull, a little more top. But those are two similar bulls. I think uh, you can go either way, and I could argue either way for you. Like we said on this second place bowl, maybe just free him up and movement wise, give him a little bit more dimension in that top. But I mean, that's a pretty close place, and I think we can go either way on that one. We get into our third place bowl. I really like this bowl. I like the shape that he has in his hip. He's got a lot of shape, and, and down to that lower hip, he's got some top to him. He's just a bit more moderate in terms of his frame. He's a little uh, shorter bodied than the top two bowls. But that's one that's got a really nice look to him. He's got a lot to offer in terms of rib, muscle shape, and top to him. Uh, for just today, he needs, we need to extend him out in every way. 
we get into our fourth place bull again a really a high quality bull he's a bull that's got a, he's a really a deep side he's got some rib to him when you get in behind him he's a little flatter made than the bulls above him he gives up a bit of performance and punch to him uh, a bit of top but that's one that's got a really nice look at you from the side profile one we just need to extend out when you look at him in terms of dimension and top and hip we get down to our fourth place or our uh, fourth place bull uh, bull it's just again a little greener made a bull that's got a nice look from the side just one again you'd like to give him a little bit more power and punch in terms of his hip and his top but that's one that's a, a green fresh bull one that'd be a good solid breeding bull out in the pasture just one that uh, gets into a tough class here really interesting class of junior bulls here First in class, 3134. Sweet Grass Justify 104J, exhibited by Foxtail Livestock of Elroy, Saskatchewan. Second, 3135. Head for the Hills Offender 4J, exhibited by Head for the Hills Shorthorns of Red versus Saskatchewan. Third, 3132. Byland Ironclad 1M8, exhibited by Coldstream Farm of Flesherton. Fourth, 3133, Bell M Zirconium 53J, exhibited by Bell M Farms of Inglefeld, Saskatchewan. And rounding out the class, 3136, Holman Valley Garnets John 5J, exhibited by Holman Valley Shorthorns of Tabler, Alberta. Once again, the top two in this class were your senior division champion and reserve champion yearling bull. Coming into the ring next will be class 21, the bulls born in 2020. This class will also be your champion and reserve champion senior bull, sponsored by Sask Valley Stock Farm and Yellow Rose Shorthorns. One of our major sponsors, Trow Nutrition, is a global leader in cattle nutrition. Their products and services support purebred, commercial, and feedlot operations alike. For more information, contact your local Trow Nutrition representative today. Throughout the entire agribition, we've been uh, uh, had the opportunity to have Trow Nutrition as our major sponsor for the Herdsman Awards. And we'll definitely uh, look forward to Jessica Hextall being with us at the champion class for our Hereford Herdsman Awards. She's already presented the Shorthorn one. And we want to thank Trow Nutrition for their support of the Herdsman Awards throughout Canadian Western Agribition this year. Versatile wishes best of luck to all the participants. Versatile Nemesis is the only Canadian built tractor in its segment. Designed for the toughest condition, versatile. I've got a million emails that I haven't 
On the short horn side, we'll have some comments from our judge. Well, two really good bowls here. I think both bowls that uh, have a lot to offer. I think uh, I think the advantages in our first place bowl is just more power, more rib, more depth of body than our second place bowl. Definitely, bullet has more condition in terms of the, in his front end and his brisket. He's definitely fuller in through there. But I think just there's more bowl here. There's more power. There's more punch. We we'll get to our second place bowl. This bullet's got some shape to that hip. I just like to see him a little deeper flank, deeper bodied. And, but he is greener in his makeup than the bowl in front of him. I think just two really good bowls, and both have a lot to offer. Interesting class here. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. First in class, 3138, Diamond Hendricks 2H, exhibited by Diamond Shorthorns of Okotoks, Alberta, with additional owner of first class cattle marketing. Second, 3137, Walkeroo Pendleton 0061, exhibited by Coldstream Farms of Flesherton. Next in the ring, we'll be having our grand champion and reserve grand champion class. All right, on the Shorthorn side, we're bringing back in all our champions from your junior bull calf, 3111 JTPH Storm Surge 58K, exhibited by JT Livestock Limited of Stetler, Alberta, along with 3115 Glenford De Niro 88K, exhibited by Bender Shorthorns of New Dorf, Saskatchewan. From your senior bull calves, 3121 NVR Royal Reserve 15K, exhibited by New View Ranch of Elm Creek, Manitoba, and 3116 Head for the Hills Kevin 15K, exhibited by Head for the Hills. 5H Shorthorns of Redford, Saskatchewan. Your junior yearling bulls 3131 HLLC Double Vision 42J, exhibited by Height Land and Livestock of Arthur, Ontario, along with 3516 Cactus Flat Jackpot 1J, exhibited by Cactus Flat Shorthorns of Gleichen, Alberta. From your yearling, senior yearling bull, 3134 Sweet Grass Justify 104J Foxtail, exhibited by Foxtail Livestock of El Rose, Saskatchewan, and 3135 Head for the Hills Offender 4J, exhibited by Head for the Hills Shorthorn of Red vs. Saskatchewan. And from your yearling, senior bulls, 3138 Diamond Hendrix 2H, exhibited by Diamond Shorthorns of Oak Tokes, Alberta, and 3137 Wakaroo Pendleton 2H, exhibited by Coldstream Farms of Flesherton. With us today, we have Radine Crystalbrink from John Deere, spo who sponsored the coach, and Levi Hull from SCA, who sp sponsored the banner. As they're looking over in the Shorthorn Ring on their championship class, we'll get some comments on our split number 8C in our pulled Hereford Ring. Uh, this class, 
to me was one of the more enjoyable ones to analyze because I think there's a lot of thought processes you got to go through and we're both very comfortable with the heifer that starts the class and being the one that hits us more times as she's walking in all the way to this point and never gives us a bad look. Structure, balance, femininity. She's got some, her other qualities good enough right now. I just think she wins the class just because she has the least wrong with her and has the most, most complete look to her. And I really think she has a big structure advantage to your second place heifer, particularly from her loin and how it ties into her hip. And when you get her on the move, you can see that advantage as she's traveling around her length of stride and her ease of movement and her relax, how she relaxes her top. And I also think as you look from the side profile, you certainly like the femininity of the head and neck of the heifer that wins this class over your second place heifer. There's a lot of uh, choices between the second and third. Of, there's some advantages and disadvantages. We're going to use the deeper bodied, bigger hipped heifer that's wider in her chest floor and probably straighter in her knee structure, more accurate in her knee structure over your third place heifer. But we really appreciate the third place heifer for her freshness and her the, the condition she's in and still has enough power to compete out here being the lightest conditioned heifer out here. We certainly appreciate that aspect of her. I just like to change her in her knee structure as she's coming at me. The heifer in fourth, I think she's kind of the enigma one in here because she is the really striking big top, big hip heifer with the most power. We just felt in this class she was just a little too hard bodied and I'd like to change her udder structure a little bit, but this one has a lot of pieces that can move someone forward. The heifer coming in next, if she had more calf in her and maybe was a little trimmer through her front end, we could maybe get her up a little higher, but right now she just doesn't have the balance and the length to compete any, any better. And then we have one, you know, we talk about these heifers towards the tail end of these classes. There's some good things about them and you gotta really appreciate the fleshing ability and the structure in these heifers. They just don't have quite the overall dimension and the quality to compete today. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. First place in class number 8C goes to entry number 2752 from Manchester Pulled Herefords. It's Manchester Misty 112J. Second place in this class goes to entry number 2756. The entry from Harvey Ranching and OVHF. It's Harvey OVHS Miss Firefly 4J. Third place in that class goes to entry number 3525 from Autumn Tanner and Hershey Herefords. Fourth place goes to entry number 2769, the entry from Stonewood Grange and NCLC Cattle Company. Fifth place to enter number 2761 from Remital West to Medante Highlands Pulled Herefords. Sixth place to enter number 2753, the entry from the Cliffs Farms and Joe Very Family. Rounding out that class, enter number 2767, the entry from Lone Pine Cattle Services. We're going to move next in our polled ring to our yearling heifer championship class, sponsored by Standard Hill Livestock and Marcel de Corby Remax Crown. We want to thank our sponsors on our Hereford ring as those cattle move in. But you know what? We're going to turn it over to our Shorthorn ring. We've got a championship class coming up. We'll get some comments from our judge, Jeff, on our grand champion bulls. Well, first off, I want to thank the Shorthorn Association for having me out here today. I thoroughly enjoyed the morning, and, and it's definitely an honor to be here. Judging isn't something I take lightly. I know the heart, the joy and the heartbreak that comes with showing cattle. I hope I've done my best to explain to you why you were there. Uh, I, I mean, I... I've thoroughly enjoyed my day all day long, and uh, it, it's definitely an honor to be here. Second, I want to give big, big congratulations to all the exhibitors. Let's give them a big round of applause to start with here. <clears throat> It takes a lot to get these cattle up and down the road. It's a lot of work, and, and it definitely is. Uh, it's awesome to see the amount of cattle that are here at Agribish, and it's great to see the amount of people that are here watching. Uh, there's a great buzz around the barn all week, and it just it's awesome being here. Uh, being in this show ring, uh, it doesn't matter if you're judging or showing, it's definitely an honor when you get into to Agribish and to walk through those wood gates there. And, and I've been lucky to to be in this ring every day since Tuesday and be here tomorrow and, and, and I'm just a really honored to be here judging the Shorthorn show today. I hope you could follow along with what I was doing today. I mean, I, I like to cover the bases first. I like them deep bodied, I like them muscled up, uh, I like lots of top to them, then I like them good looking. If they're unique and cool and have all the bases covered, then I think those are the ones that we got to gravitate towards uh, no matter what age they are. If they're the young bull calves or the, the mature bulls, I think when you find the ones that you really fall in love with, uh, I think that's what you got to go ahead and use. 
Like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed my day. I think the shorthorn breed has a lot to offer, right from our very first heifer calf class right up to our mature bulls. A lot of quality all the way through. And we did have some variances through the day, and that's perfectly fine. That's great to see. That means you can cover a lot of bases in terms of the commercial industry, in terms of uh, the next level purebred cattle. I think we saw a lot of a lot of cattle went through the ring today that can cover a lot of bases. Uh, this is just my opinion today. Uh, that's all I can give you is what you asked for in terms of my opinion. If you saw some cattle you like, by all means, go get go back and find them in the stall, get them bought or talk to them or find out when they're selling them. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're here for is to market cattle. We all love this. We enjoy it. But at the end of the day, we do have to make some money doing it and, and uh, be successful in all terms of the industry. So again, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm going to go show you my two favorite short horn bulls. And thanks again for the invite. Your grand champion shorthorn bull is Sweetgrass Justify 104J, exhibited by Foxtail Livestock of Elro, Saskatchewan. And your senior bull calf, NVR Royal Reserve 15K, exhibited by Newview Ranch of Elm Creek, Manitoba. Congratulations. Again, we have Tara Lee LaRose from John Deere here to hand out the coat, and Levi Hull from SCA to hand out the banner, and Chubb Lindego from MNP. We're going to get some comments over here in our Pold Hereford ring on class number nine, our yearling heifers, again sponsored by Standard Hill Livestock and Marcel DeCorby from Remax Crown with some comments from our judge, Nathan Frost. Well, uh, things are really heating up as we get these big heifers, as should be expected. And uh, we're probably getting a little pickier, but uh, now that they're a little more mature, I mean, see where they're projected to be as cows, I think that... Uh, is our right to do so. Uh, this heifer that wins the first class is uh, just a combination heifer and uh, so big bodied, so sound, gets out and moves real fluid and still good up through her head and neck. Yet uh, when you get on that three quarter view, she's got some power and punch to her and that's to be appreciated. Heifer out of the second class, uh, really fresh, good in her uh, condition. Uh, probably just lacks a little overall mass compared to the two on either side of her and uh, that's probably where we'd like to change her a little bit. Heifer out of the last class, uh, just uh, every time she comes out she just keeps looking better and better, never gives you a bad look, um, so up-headed and so good down through her top and through her uh, lower rib, yet uh, still gets out and moves, very fluid, so uh, definitely some decisions to be made and uh, we'll get you a champion. So again, we want to thank our sponsors in our yearling heifer division, Standard Hill Livestock and Marcel DeCorby, our REMAX Crown sponsors in our yearling heifer division. And our champion yearling heifer is going to come out of split number A. Congratulations to Haroldson Pold Herefords and River Valley Pold Herefords, our champion uh, yearling heifer, entry number 2768, Haroldson's Miley 48G65J. We're going to go to class number C. Congratulations to Manchester Pold Herefords, our reserve grand champion yearling heifer, with entry number 2752. Manchester's Mist 112J. Congratulations to Madante Highland Pold Herefords, Haroldson Pold Herefords with your champion Brett Heifer, and the reserve champion Manchester Pold Herefords. We want to thank our sponsors very much, Standard Hill Livestock and Marcel DeCorby from Remax Crown. Great sponsors in our Pold Division, champion and reserve grand champion, Yearling Heifer. to me. 
on the Shorthorn side, we, we will be looking for everyone who wants to come in on our group classes, so please have your cattle ready right after pictures. In our Hereford side, we're going to move into our polled females. This will be our class number 10. We're going to stay with our polled females here. This will be our uh, polled females born in 2020 with their calf at side. We've got three entries into this class. So we'll be looking for three entries in our polled female class. This will be class number 10. We want to thank some of our great sponsors uh, throughout Anchor Mission here. CIBC is sponsoring the early morning coffee. Definitely they've been here in some early mornings to provide all of our exhibitors with some great early morning coffee. Croft Electric is the show office coffee sponsor. CN, the Anchor Mission Supreme sponsor on Saturday. Make sure everybody comes back for Saturday afternoon for the great Supreme, Supre Supreme presented by CN. So in our Hereford ring, we're going to move into, this is class number 10. We've got polled females coming in. Three two-year-olds coming into the ring. First entry comes to us, entry number 2776 from Haroldson Polled Herefords. It's Haroldson's Robin, 24E44H. Second entry into this class comes to us, entry number 2773. It's Brooks 27Z, Deanna 26H from Brooks Farms. Third entry to this class is entry number 2772, RSK FM Miss Princess 110H from Harvey Ranching and OVHF. Three entries into this class number 10 in our polled two-year-old division. We also want to thank the Saskatchewan Cattlemen's Association. Uh, they've been sponsoring all the beef banners throughout the week, as well as Co-op, our official fuel supplier of uh, Agribition. It may cost too much, but Co-op brings you the good stuff.
We'll get some comments on class number 10 in our two-year-old pulled female class. Well, Nathan mentioned in the last division that as this show progresses that the heat certainly gets turned up and as these cattle get more mature and we can kind of see their end point, I think that's pretty apparent here. And there's uh, two things that separate two extremely high quality pairs. The uh, utter suspension of your class winning female and her utter size we feel is a lot less of a management issue than the female in second, who probably does have a little sharper teeth size. They're a little more spread out. But you go past that, I think it's a longevity issue. And we really appreciate the female that wins the class in terms of her overall structure, the amount of body she has, her femininity, and what she's, what she's transmitted to her heifer calf. <clears throat> Now the heifer, the cow in second, I mean, I personally like maybe the look of her a little more in that she's really got that ultra maternally efficient, super feminine look that I really like. But I just know, and what she bring into the table as far as the power and the mass of this bull calf is astronomical. We just have to tone down the utter size on this one in most management conditions, particularly in our herd. And that's why she's second, two great females. Then we got a really nice female here, big stout bull calf. He's rugged, he's big testicle, and she's certainly done her job. We just like to tone down her teeth size to compete in the top pair. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for comments on class number 10. First place goes to entry number 2772, RSK FM Miss Princess 110H. With calf at side, Princess 118K from Harvey Ranching and OVHF. Second place in that class goes to enter number 2776. It's Haroldson's Robin 24E 44H. With calf at sides, Haroldson Pavardi 20K exhibited by Haroldson Pulled Herefords. Third place in that class, entry number 2773, it's Brooks 71D 29Z Deanna 26H. With calf at side, Brooks Edge 6K, exhibited by Brooks Farms. We're going to see those females back in our senior championship class, but in our Hereford ring, we're going to go next to class number 11. These will be our pulled females, born in 2019 and earlier. Our mature cows will come in next. We've got three entries into this class. Our progeny of dam goes to Cactus Flat Shorthorns and second to Height Land and Livestock. Congratulations. The banner for this class is sponsored by Yellow Rose Shorthorns. Next in the ring, we will have Breeders Herd. So coming into our ring here in our Pold Hereford uh, Class 11, We've got three entries into this class. First class, uh, first animal in the class, entry number 2777, Haroldson's Marvel ET44G, exhibited by Harvey Ranching. Second entry into this class is 2781 WCC100B Jessica, 9100G, exhibited by Gabriel Chermachinsky. Third entry into this class, entry number 2779, BCC Delilah 635D, exhibited by Dallas Farms. We've got three entries into this class number 11 in our mature cows in our pulled female division.
We're going to leave these the way they are, the way they walked in the ring, and place them in the order. We're going to start on this end. This is a really powerful pair. I really love the design of the female and her length in her front end and how she travels around the ring and her utter quality. I'd like to maybe correct her feet a little bit. They're a little long-toed in the back, and maybe I could put a bigger, nicer foot underneath her. She's bringing a lot of calf to the table. This, calf, this bull calf's pretty stout. Big hip, big ribbed, travels around the ring nice. I mean, he's just a super powerful bull calf, and I think it's a testament to her production ability, what, you know, she brings to the table. So we're going to start on this end. And I think it's actually a pretty close pair because the second place cow pair is, I mean, that's a powerful, really nice cow. She's done a great job with her bull calf. I really like, actually like the design of this f female's front end. I think she's a little stouter built than the, the cow that wins the class. You know, is her udder quite as good? Well, it's a little smaller, which was an advantage in the first class, but our teats are a little closer together, so it's kind of a wash, and this isn't a dairy show, but these are two really high-quality pairs. And then we come down on this end, and we got a really powerful, big, broody cow. She's put a lot into herself, and she's put a lot of herself into this heifer calf. I just don't know if she has quite the quality and the balance and the pigment to go with the cows in front of her, but certainly, you know, I really appreciate what she's done. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for comments in class number 11. First place in that class goes to entry number 2777. The entry from Harvey Ranching with Harold Sins Marvel ET44G. In second place, entry number 2781 comes to us from Gabriel Shermashinsky, WCC100B, Jessica, 9100G. Third place in that class, entry number 2779, comes to us from Dallas Farms, it's BCD Delilah, 635D. We're going to leave these two females in this class, and we'll be returning in with our two two-year-olds. So coming back in for our senior female championship class, sponsored by Aspen Lane Land and Cattle and Holmes Farms. We'd like to come back into the ring out of our two-year-old class, Entry number 2772, the entry from Harvey Ranching and OVHF. It's RSK FM Miss Princess 116H. Second place out of that class number 10, entry number 2776, from Haroldson Pulled Herefords with Haroldson Robin 24E44H. Cattle in this class, again, vying uh, out of our mature class. Entry number 2777, Harold Sins Marvel ET44G from Harvey Ranching. And second place out of our senior class, 2781, it's WCC100B Jessica 9100G from Gabriel, Gabriel Shemershinsky out of Alberta. These females are vying for our senior champion female class, sponsored again by Aspen Lane Land and Cattle and Holmes Farms. On the Herefords, our Shorthorn side, our breeders herd was Bender Shorthorn, and second was Height Land and Livestock, and the class was sponsored by Bender Shorthorn. Now in the ring, we have our Geta Sire, sponsored by Bell M Farms. We're going to go ahead and pick your champion and reserve pair out here. We've kind of talked about these females in detail, and we've all seen them out here. I just want to say that I really 
from an American standpoint, the what happens up here with these females is so much more down my wheelhouse than what happens down south with the show heifers and what they look like when they have two-year-olds. And that is why you guys should be extremely proud of what's out here, regardless of which pairs you choose to like the most. So I'd like to give these exhibitors a, a lot of admiration, admiration and respect for what they're doing out here and making these females work. With that, we'll pick your uh, champion and reserve pair. Our grand champion senior female is going to come out of the two-year-old class. Congratulations to Harvey Ranching and OVHS for the entry number 2772, RSK FM 695D, Miss Princess 110H. We're going to stay in the two-year-old division for our reserve grand champion senior female with entry number 2776, Haroldson's Robin 24E44H, exhibited by Haroldson's Pulled Herfords. So we're going to see these two-year-olds back in our championship class in a few minutes. We want to thank our sponsors of our senior females, Aspen Lane Land and Cattle and Holmes Farms. We're going to take some quick pictures and we'll be moving in next with class number 13, our horned female. This will be our two-year-old class, class number 13 in our horn show. On the short horn side, first for Geta Sire was Millbrook Farms, second was Coldstream Farm, third was Bender Shorthorns, and fourth was Heightland and Livestock Co. And finally, our premier breeder and our premier exhibitor are sponsored by SCA, and our winner is Millbrook Farms for both. Thank you to everyone who came out, and hopefully the Hereford Show goes well this afternoon. Congratulations to everybody. Millbrook Farms, would you like to come up to the front for a picture for the presentation of your premier exhibitor and premier breeder banners, please? Thank you. <laughs> 